viewers from Manila. Good evening here in the United States where I am based. Base. So we would like to greet, and greet each and every one of you for uh, watching with us this very important presentation that Bicol University has prepared and the United Nations Association of the Philippines has prepared for you guys with the able leadership of Dr. Ramora, Ramona Ramieses. So today, we are celebrating the World Food Day 2020 with a theme of food safety, everyone's business. Our theme is food safety, everyone's business in partnership and in cooperation with the Bicol Association of Agriculture, Balsa, and then Bicol Regional Organic Farmers Council, Women for Agriculture and Rural Development, Department of Agriculture, Agricultural Training Institute Regional Office, the Philippine Commission on Women, and the Association of Bicol University Retirees. Truly, we are blessed today that we are talking about food. At this time, we will now have the, the national anthem, Lupang Hinirang, to be followed by invocation. Let us all stand. Oh, you 
my weakness covered by your strength and I am found forever safe thank you so much thank you so much for that very good prayer and of course uh, paying our respect to our national uh, to our country the, uh, by singing our national anthem. Truly, we are blessed because I myself has never been hungry. And I know food security is very important. That is very basic in our life. And today also, we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Let us all reflect why United Nations is very important. And for me, for the past 75 years, there is no absolute peace in this world, but we haven't experienced world war. I myself haven't experienced world war and we owe it to the United Nations. At this time, we will hear the opening message of the one we owe this event today. She is the one who leads in organizing this three days event. Actually, the Women's Day yesterday, the urban uh, rural women yesterday, today is the World Food Day. And then tomorrow will be to, uh, to er eradicate poverty. How can we eradicate poverty? So we have a lot of good topics that we will be discussing. I am introducing you, the Balsa, Brofak, and Ward President. He's our very dynamic auditor who leads us into all legal matters that needs to be corrected. She always guides us. Our event chairperson, let us all welcome the very dynamic, intelligent, and well-articulated and educated person, Dr. Ramona Ines Bustamante, to give us the opening and the guidance for today's gathering. Dr. Ramieses, please. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Rick. You know, Rick is coming all the way from New York, USA. Thank you for being with us. We know that at this point in time, you are uh, at about nine in the early morning, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm very happy to welcome you all to the second of a series of three webinars organized by the United Nations Association of the Philippines in partnership with the Bicol University. Today, we focus our attention on the United Nations celebration of the World Food Day. World Food Day promotes global awareness and action for those who suffer from hunger and for the need to ensure healthy diets for all. And the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, or the FAO, designated 16 October as World Food Day. And in the light of this pandemic, this year's World Food Day that we have organized in partnership with the Bicol University is based or anchored on the theme, food safety and security is everyone's business. And this event today is co-sponsored by several agricultural organizations. The Bicol Association of Learning Sites in Agriculture, the Bicol Regional Organic Farmers Council, the Women for Agriculture and Rural Development, the Department of Agriculture, 
the Philippine Commission on Women and the Association of Bicol University Retirees. All over the world, this World Food Day is being celebrated today and collective action across 150 countries makes this World Food Day the most celebrated of the United Nations calendar. Hundreds of events, outreach activities, bring together the government, the businesses, the NGOs, the media, and the general public. And here in our locality, in our own country, the United Nations Association of the Philippines and the Bicol University together with the other organizations I have just mentioned took also collective effort in organizing this World Food Day, which we have today. We are very much honored today to have with us none other than the officer in charge of the Food and Agriculture Organization in the Philippines, Ms. Tamara Palis Duran, who will give us her speech and she will be properly introduced a little later. Then we shall also have the message from the United Nations Secretary General. And this will be followed by two very interesting activities this morning, which are the lecture demonstration to make us healthy, to make us realize the importance of organic farming, of organic agriculture, of urban gardening, of eating, eating healthy food for long life. And so we will have from the Department of Agriculture, the Agricultural Training Institute lecture demonstrations by two distinguished trainers in the API. We will have the urban gardening lecture demo and a cooking demonstration. And we will surely enjoy these two events. And we will also listen to the inspirational message of our president of the UNAP, Dr. Amelu Benitez Reyes, as well as the Regional Director of the Department of Agriculture, Director Tornilia. So friends, ladies and gentlemen, as the event organizer of this three-day series of webinars, and for today, the conference on the World Food Day, I welcome you all. And I thank you most sincerely for joining this activity. Good day to all of you. God bless all of us and mabuhay. Thank you very much, Dr. Agnieszes. I am pretty sure with Dr. Agnieszes, we will not get hungry. More so with the organization that she belongs, the Balsa, Brofa, Word, and Nuna. They will never let us be hungry. Thank you very much for that uh, guidance, Dr. Agnieszes. At this time, let us listen to the video message of the World Food on World Food Day of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, Director General. Can we play the video message? Kalayan? Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, the World Food Day found its origin in the birthday of FLUN on 16th October 1945. This year is a very special one for FAO and for the global fight against hunger and malnutrition. <coughs> 75 years ago today, out of the debris of the World War II, millions lost their lives in the conflict. Millions more died of the starvation. Farming was devastated. The world needed to rebuild a culture and to meet the most basic of the human needs. Nations come together. 
FO UN was established the first. And we deliver it. FO harnessed everything at our despots there. Expertise, research, statistics, diplomacy to help the world produce more, to feed more. In the first 25 years of FAO's existence, farmer output increased by 70%. But the feed in the world was not just about more hectares and more tractors. In the second quarter century of the FAO's existence, we worked to make the green revolutionary greener. And the blue too. We became drawing the world attention to safeguarding the oceans and the seas. We promoted the aquaculture and we targeted and defeated and treated animal disease. The third quarter century saw a great push for sustainability. We worked to empower smallholder farmers. We promoted a package of solutions for the global food security. We understood that there was no such thing as an end to hunger without application of innovation, responsible investment, accessible trade of commodities, and empowering women and youth. Of the 75 years that the FO has been in existence, we have grown nourished and sustained the gift of our soil, the livelihoods of our people, the legacy of our planet. Today begins the next quarter century of FAO story, a time to look back at our successes, but also and measure the distance left to travel. And more importantly, to look forward to the new era. Clearly, our work is not done yet. After the diminishing steadily, and the nourishment is increasing again. Too many children are still wasted or stunted. Billions of people cannot afford a health diet as civilization moves on. Crucially, the next phase in our history starts amid the wreckage caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. It has led by the fragility of our agri-food systems, the precociousness of the agricultural labor force, the thin line that the, separates many families from a destitution. Dear colleagues and friends, now it's a time to show ourselves west of the FAO's founders who rose to the occasion 75 years ago. We have made a good start with our comprehensive COVID-19 response and the recovery program. It focuses on data collection, poverty reduction programs, trade and food safety standards, and the protectiveness against the next zoonotic pandemics. But in the longer term, nothing less than a radical transformation of agri-food systems will be needed to bring us closer to the hunger-free world. This, for FAO, presupposes the flat, more agile, and modular structure, a relentlessly push for the digitalization, joining the hand across the government, academia, civil society, and the private sector, and the constant pursuit of the innovation and the scientific excellence. The world is looking to us to put our actions where our words are, to be think tanker and action tanker rather than do one. Alongside our partners, we must be knowledge generators, and facilitates all at once, together in the quest for the ultimate public good, a world free of poverty, hunger, and malnutrition. Tomorrow begins today. So on this World Food Day, allow me to thank and congratulate you, 
my colleagues and friends. Allow me also to spur you on to the even greater efforts until what the day comes when we can look back and say, Mish accomplished. I uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Director General of the Food Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, Mr. Ku Dong Yu. And thank you for ensuring that trade food safety standard is institutionalized and bringing us a hunger-free world. We really need a hunger-free world and stop the wastage of too much food. At this time, we will have Dr. Delia Siranieses, a very good professor, dynamic educator of the Bicol University College of Nursing, who will introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Delia Siranieses, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Yes, good morning, everyone. It is an honor for me to introduce to you today's guest speaker. Friends, our guest has been with the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations for more than five years now. As the Assistant FAO representative for a program, she oversees the program development and management of FAO's portfolio in the country, which currently includes initiatives that seek to promote food security and nutrition, introduce technologies that would help improve agri and the fisheries productivity and incomes, as well as sustainable management of natural resources and increase the resilience of the sector and its stakeholders to both natural and human induced threats and emergencies. Prior to her appointment as Assistant FAO Representative, she has been providing direct support to the implementation of FAO projects in coordination with their key counterparts, such as the Department of Agriculture, or DA, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, and the Department of Agrarian Reform, or DAR, among others. Friends, our guest has been in the field of agriculture and rural development for more than 10 years, starting with her stint in the agribusiness investment arm of the Department of Agriculture in 2007. During this time, folks, she served as the focal person for the bioethanol feedstock program of BA and also supported in marketing, private sector linkages of farming communities. In 2011, she joined the Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Environment staff of the National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, where she was tasked to analyze the government's programs, policies, and plans that specifically relate to agricultural commodities. And friends, while there, she was also involved in the review of new agri and fisheries projects that underwent the Investment Coordination Committee or ICC approval process. This was her last engagement before joining the FAO. Ladies and gentlemen, her academic background is in the field of economics, earning a Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Economics from the University of the Philippines in Los Banos and a Master in Development Economics from the United, uh, from the University of the Philippines in Deleman. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the Assistant Fellow Representative of the United Nations, Ma'am Tamara Jean P. Duran. Ma'am? Colleagues from the United Nations Association of the Philippines and the Agricultural Training Institute, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. We're very grateful to have all of you in this virtual forum on the World Food Day. I would like to especially thank the United Nations Association of the Philippines for hosting this event and for celebrating with the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, or FAO, this very important event. 
this year's celebration is doubly special because this is FAO's 75th anniversary or our 75th birthday. That is three quarters of a century of working and standing in solidarity to support our partner nations such as the Philippines to realize our collective dream of attaining zero hunger for all. This year's theme, Grow, Nourish, Sustain Together, Our Actions Are Our Future, underscores the urgent challenge that we as agriculture and development workers must address in order to ensure that adequate, nutritious, and affordable food continues to be available and accessible to the Filipinos. This year has been a particularly challenging one, and I'm sure all of you would agree. These uncertain times have made many of us rekindle our appreciation for the basic need that some take for granted, but I'm sure many of us would not live without, and that is food. Food is the essence of life, the base on which all our needs are founded on. In the Philippines, food is intrinsic to our culture and traditions, to our way of life. Some would even argue that food defines who we are as a nation. To this end, preserving access to safe and nutritious food is and will continue to be an essential part of our collective response to crises such as the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly for poor and vulnerable communities who are hit hardest by the crisis and its resulting socioeconomic impacts. Through these difficult times, it is more important than ever to recognize and support our food heroes. These are farmers, workers, and other actors throughout the food system who, despite the risks presented by the pandemic to their personal health and safety, still work tirelessly to make sure that food makes its way from the farm to our tables. We also value the ongoing efforts, of course, of the Department of Agriculture to ensure that support systems are in place and has assured the country of enough food supply. We are grateful for your untiring efforts, dedication, and passion to serve the country despite the challenges of this unprecedented crisis that we are in. This year's celebration may be a bit different, but we are very grateful for UNA for organizing today's activities which promote awareness and action for a world free from hunger and poverty, in which everyone can lead healthy lives, including the youth. We hope that these initiatives will renew our determination to do our very best to address the evolving needs of the sector in times of crisis. We all have a role to play, from increasing the overall demand for nutritious food by choosing healthy to not letting sustainable habits fall by the curb despite these uncertain times. And with that, I would like to wish everyone a meaningful World Food Day. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you very much for that wonderful message, ma'am. And you are right. Food is the essence of life, intrinsic to our way of life. And food define us as a nation. And as we go on with a world free of hunger and poverty, which we all desire. Thank you so much for that wonderful message. At this time, we will have the message of the United Nations Secretary General, uh, the Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez. Can we play the video? The systems that bring food to our tables have a profound impact on our economies, our health, and the environment. Food systems are one of the main reasons we are failing to stay within our planet's ecological boundaries. But they can also be the key to tackling the climate crisis, addressing soaring biodiversity loss, and building healthier societies. This year, the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the fragility of our food systems. Millions more people are hungry, and millions of jobs have been lost. Meanwhile, the climate emergency continues apace. To address these issues, I'm convening a food system summit next year. This will be a people summit and a solutions summit. This action-oriented conversation will come together in two key moments. The first will be a pre-summit meeting in Rome in early summer next year. 
This meeting will build on inclusive country and regional dialogues and will define bold actions for inclusive and sustainable food systems. The second will be the Food Systems Summit itself to bring the attention of all world leaders to this issue. We need global engagement and action for inclusive and sustainable food systems. I urge you to join the conversation. Thank you very much to our Secretary General, Antonio Gutierrez. So guys, remember, Food System Summit in 2021. Let our voices be heard, not only of our government, but all the non-government organizations and the common Filipino people. We really need to participate in this uh, consultation and, and let our voices be heard. At this time, we will have our, uh, what we call this, uh, lecture demo demonstration. Our first lecture demo is the sub theme Organic Agriculture for Healthy Living, Good Health and Long Life. The brief introduction of the Philippines Republic Act 10068, Organic Agriculture Act of 2010, and the principle of organic agriculture. We have a very good expert, a, very, a technical staff of, of ATI RTC5, Mr. Hermi M. Oppresio. Sir. Good morning, everyone. Everyone to the event organizer for this activity for this virtual forum on the world today with the team Food Safety and other one business. The organizers, the Bicol Association of Learning Sites, Malta, uh, Bicol Regional Organic Farmer Council, and the United Nations of the Philippines, the Bicol University, the Department of Agriculture, and other agencies for this activity. So, as API for we're so much thankful that we are invited to be part of this activity. So at this time, I uh, will discuss regarding and uh, basic uh, regarding organic agriculture for healthy living, good health, and long life. So good morning po to our mga participants po dyan, uh, from Bicol University and to the viewers of API Bicol Talabay YouTube channel. Thanks so much. So, uh, sir, admin, I will share my presentation. Okay, so, yan po. Nahigita po natin lahat. So, organic agriculture for healthy living, good health, and long life. So, uh, we'll discuss first the organic, organic agriculture concept and principles. So, Magbibigay lang po ako ng brief discussion regarding this Republic Act 10068 or Organic Agriculture Act 2010 of the Philippines. The policy of the state to promote, to propagate the value of further and employment and the practice, the practice of organic agriculture in the Philippines that will communicatively condition and enrich the fertility of the soil, increase farm productivity, reduce pollution and destruction of the environment, prevent the depletion of natural resources, further protect the health of farmers and consumers and general public and save on import, imported farm inputs. Yeah, so for this organic agriculture act, at this end, a comprehensive program for a promotion of community-based organic agriculture system, which includes among others, farmer produced purely organic fertilizers such as compost, pesticides, and other farm inputs. So whether with a nationwide educational and promotional campaign for their use and processing, as well as adoption of organic agriculture system as a viable alternative and shall be undertaken. So ito pong organic agriculture act or the Republic Act 1068 is a complementation of the ecological solid waste act 
Storage Rate Management Act of 2000, uh, RA 90063, that reduces the waste being reduction. So reduction of waste being generated and reduction of waste because And the objective of this act um, is zero waste for you on. The next one is the Philippine Clear Act, um, Clean Air Act of 1999, so RA, 9, RA number 8749. So next one is the confirmation of the Republic of 1068 is the Philippine Clean Water Act of 2000, the RA number 9275, and National Integrated Potential Area System Act of 1992, or the RA number 7586, and Sanitation Code of the Philippines, CD number 8586. So yan po ang nakapaloob po sa confirmation ng Republic Act 10068, or the Organic Agriculture Act of the Philippines. So, this act po is approved in last April 6, 2010 by our, by our president, former president, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. So, it aims to convert the, the traditional farming of the, uh, of the um, our farmers in the Philippines to go in organic farming. So, we discussed po natin regarding development and definition of some farming system. We have See this, the traditional agriculture. Matagal po natin itong ginagawa. So, dito po, ito po yung ating conventional agriculture. Explain po natin yan, bawat isa. So, what is traditional agriculture? Traditional agriculture is a farming method before agrochemicals, high-yielding biases, and machines. Okay. Wow, well, kung nasa ata, ang nasa ulan naman. So next po natin ang conventional agriculture, green evolution agriculture. Ito po ay conventional agriculture considered as green evolution. Ag agriculture, monocultures of high yielding varieties, use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and others. So as a green evolution po, napakage po nito ang um, picking produce na monocropping, so a single crop has been planted in one area. High yielding varieties, you can see in this picture. Mechanization was introduced for this evolution, herbicides and pesticides and chemical fertilizer. So, uh, ang traditional farming and organic agriculture, ito po ang kanilang ang pagkakaisa or common. No use, no, use, no use of chemical fertilizers, insecticides, fungicides, herbicides. Got promoters, got promoters, and others. No use of genetically engineered plants and animals, and use of animal manures. Animal manures have been used for traditional and organic farming, except in our animals, example dog and cat, and for our humans and birds in cages. So, what is specific to organic farming? As a part, use of microbial preparation for pest management. Release of efficient attraction of beneficial insects, use of higher being but disease resistance, use of crops and animals. So, what is this? another introduction of efficient green manures? Examples of green manures here in the Philippines, uh, you can, uh, the mang bean or the mango, it is being used as green manures and food so. It's been used as cover crop and nitrogen fixing trees. Use of improved tools for soil cultivation, weeding, and others. So, application of improved compost, metals, and biofertilizer. So, so, organic agriculture includes all agricultural systems that promote ecologically sound, socially acceptable, economically viable, and technically feasible production of food and fiber. And organic agriculture dramatically reduces external inputs by refraining from the use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and pharmaceuticals. So, in organic agriculture, we hindi na po tayo gumagamit ng mga chemical inputs. So, natural way to tayo in terms of organic agriculture. So, it also covers areas such as soil fertility management, vital breeding and selection under chemical and pesticide free conditions. Use of biotechnology and other cultural practices that are consist 
with our organic agriculture principles and policies. The organic agriculture also enhances the productivity without destroying the soil and harming farmers, consumers, and environment. So organic agriculture uh, enhances po natin ang productivity and in, we, we did not destroy and the soil and we did not harm the hot farmers and consumers and especially our environment. So shall that include genetically modified organisms or GMOs? So pure organic food diet. So benefits of organic agriculture, of course, we have organic production reduces health risk. Organic farmers respect our water resources yeah, because we do not use any chemical fertilizers that affect our water resources. Organic farmers build healthy soil. So we build and um, we grow the soils by using good um, and natural way of organic fertilizers and that improves the um, good microorganisms in our soil and so that it can provide good and healthy soil for our plants. So organic farmers work in harmony with nature. Yeah. And organic producers are leaders in innovative research. This was the benefits of organic agriculture. And punta na po tayo ngayon sa principles of organic agriculture. So the basis of organic agriculture is po the principles of health, the principle of ecology, the principle of fairness, and the principle of care. So, ito, ito yung po natin yan. So, for the principle of health, organic agriculture should sustain and enhance the health of soil, plants, animals, human, and planet as one in this world. So, we, we must sustain um, the soil because the soil po tayo. And the plants are grow in the soil. So we need to improve and enhance the health of the soil. Kailangan po natin itong alagaan. Sabi na, in organic farming, we feed the soil and let the soil feed the plant. So we must improve and enhance the health condition of our soil. Because our, the root system of our plants needed, makukuha po yun sa, sa ating soil. So dapat increase po natin ang soil productivity. So, hindi na po tayo gagamit ng mga chemical fertilizers natin that affect and degrade our soil. So, we also enhance the plant. So, in organic farming, hindi, na, hindi po tayo gumagamit ng genetically modified or, organisms or GMO plants and other stuff. So, we are natural way open for related plants to use. So, animals. So, in animals, uh, we must... Um, improve also enhance their health as well as and also the human so from human folks uh, if our plants and animals hindi po sila gumamit ng mga chemicals and other ingredients for uh, example for our animals we may use commercially uh, chemicals na mga feeds nila so it will not affect the human as well and also our planet and the whole our planet. And we have the principles of health. So, in principles of health, healthy soil, or healthy yung ating soil, healthy yung ating crops, our plants, and healthy our livestock, and healthy people, as well, and healthy planet. So, next to another principle of ecology. So, organic agriculture should be based on the living ecological system and cycles work with them, emulate them, and help to sustain them. Okay, so in, in principles of ecology, we have agriculture, agroecology diversity cycle. So, principles of fairness. Organic agriculture should be built upon relationships that ensure fairness with regard to the common environment and life opportunities. So we have ecological and social justice fair trade. So in the principle of fairness, we consider um, the plants, the animals, human, and environment. Now fair. And principle of care, 
organic agriculture should be managed in a professional and responsible manner to protect and help and well-being for current and future generation and environment. So, in organic agriculture, yung ating generation today, inaalagaan ko, we care for that and also, but also in this generation, but for the future generation. Next, the principle of organic agriculture principle of care. So, we have also principles that can recognize certified organic farming. We have first the biodiversity, integration, sustainability, natural soil fertility, natural pest management, and integrity. So, first, we have biodiversity. So, locally adapted seeds and goods are preferred for. There's greater resistance to disease and resilience to climatic stress. So, biodiversity, diverse combination of plants and animals, optimize nutrients and energy cycling for agricultural production. So, the maintenance of natural areas within the around organic fields and the absence of chemical inputs create habitats suitable for wildlife. So, an organic farmer, we in absence, so wala na po tayong chemical na ginagamit, so that are suitable for our wildlife. So by the diversity, diverse ecosystems have a better chance of supporting beneficial microorganisms such as pollinators. And the best example for our pollinators is our bees, our butterflies are best for an example of pollinators, natural enemies of garden paths. Microbes that help in nutrient cycling, nitrogen fixation, and disease suppression. So, next to Nathan, we will discuss the, what is the what is intercropping. So, this comprises in the organic agriculture. So, intercropping is one of the most important in organic farming. So, intercropping is growing of two or more crops to maximize beneficial. Interaction. So, in conventional or green revolution, we only planted one crop. But here in um, intercropping, we planted two or more crops to maximize beneficial interaction. So, we have beneficial microorganisms, and so we have a lot of symbiotic relationship and biological control for other crops. So, as soon as that, uh, part of intercropping of polyculture system, we have grow intercropping, so growing two or more crops at the same time with at least one crop planted in the row. So, in fact, we see a row intercropping sample in our pictures. So, next to Nathan, street intercropping, growing two or more crops together in streets wide enough to permit separate crop production using machines, but close enough for a crop to enter up. So, here next, we have intercropping system or polyculture system. Number three is mixed intercropping, growing to all the crops together in one distinct row arrangement. So we can see uh, now picture mm, planted different mm, crops, example lettuce, herbs, we have celery, we observed here in this picture. So different crops are planted together. Uh, next we have intercropping system, the relay intercropping. Planting a second crop into a standing crop to time when the standing crop is at its reproductive stage, but before harvesting. So, the best example here in the Philippines, we planted first on the tomato, here the tomato, and if not a flowering stage, a reproductive stage na po ang ating tomato, na namumulaklak na po siya, and tweeting na po, as that's the time we planted um, Betelgeur or Ampalaya. At the side of this uh, tomato planted. So after that, uh, the ampalaya will go also at that, that time, and the tomato tapos na po yung kanyang kapi. So really intercapi. So integration, next to natin, good organic processes integrate their various enterprises, benefits of integration, economic, environmental benefits. Samples are storage medium plus non-medium crop rotation, crop last like that, 
Manjura performed lifestyle enterprises is considered as the PM Circle and the cycle back. So, the manure of livestock is sampled our car manure, arable manure, goat manure, rabbit manure, and other livestock we grow, it can be recycled back to the earth. So, after it becomes decomposed or partially decomposed, it is applied to our crops to become naturally fertilizer for our planted crops. So next, natural soil fertility. Natural soil fertility is based on the biodegradable material, compost plants, or animal residues, and that can be decomposed nutrient cycling as well as with the help of the following process. So here is an example of natural soil fertility. Here is the composting. Um, uh, later, I will discuss part of composting, our kitchen composting, mulching. So, at this time in the Philippines, we use a natural mulch. Here is the rice straw. After harvesting rice, so we use the rice straw. We did not put our entire inside to snug in order to burn this uh, rice straw. So, we can use this to become a, um, a mulching for our crop. So, it conserves water during summer time. And it controls the weeds. And after that, uh, if it's not decomposed, if it's not partially decomposed, it can be an organic fertilizer for our crop. So, additional, we have mulching. So, we use plastic mulch also here. So, next we have manure. And the best example for this in manure here in the Philippines, we use mangbin or mungo as manure. If not a reproductive stage, na po sila. The flowering of the soil, so we plow it and we mix it to our soil before planting other stuff. And next, we have then crop rotation. Uh, so we we encourage uh, for natural soil fertility, uh, legume root and fruit and leaves. So legumes and uh, the best examples, the mung bean. Uh, we have also legumes. Uh, or Russian pentol, mani mani, or peanut, we use as we do. Yeah. Root, uh, leaf, and food. So, my crop rotation food time. So, because legumes have nitrogen fixation plants, so nitrogen fixation, so they absorb the atmosphere in their roots, in their root system. So, before planting sample roots, uh, potato and other roots, example carrots, radish. So it has um, nutrients that they need. And we have natural and pest disease management, also known as biological pest and disease management, based on the following practices use of beneficial insects and natural enemies, use of crop resistance to pests and diseases. Capotation, as I discussed, sanitation, use of organic or natural pesticides. So I will discuss. So we first, integrity. So next po tayo, integrity, refers to a system and a place and actions undertaken to assure that consumers of organic produce get what they have paid for. Producers have to play by the rules. We have regulatory body under BAP. So here in the Philippines, the BAP's standards and regulation, strict regulations. Of, of the terms organic in relations to the sale of food products. So, so BAPS is Bureau of Art. Yeah. So labeling, organic products have, have labeled on the packaging stating that the products is organic. So here in the Philippines, na makonsider po natin na organic po yung ating food to be uh, eaten, uh, we have two certifi certifying, third certifying body in the Philippines than NESERT. Uh, Negos Island Certification and the OCCP. Yeah. Organic Certification Body of the Philippines, the OCCP. So we have also other certification bodies. Yeah, we consider the USDA Organic, yeah. Canada Organic Bio, Bio, uh, Canada Organic Certification and others. So I will also discuss a little discussion regarding kitchen waste composting. So yung ating kitchen waste na kaganiwan po na nakukuha natin sa ating bahay. We are nagkukuha tayo. Example, 
pinagbalatan po ng saging, uh, eggplants, and others. So, iska po noon, we can use as kitchen waste and we we need a pail with faucet. So, ito po with fail, pail po, 20 liters capacity in pail. And we put a uh, faucet for the drainage of yung katas po, yung katas po ng ating kitchen waste. So, we also need the filter, a carbonized filter, and filter stand made of PVC and stand, help stand, and leaf mold soil. Ano po tong leaf mold soil? This uh, leaf mold soil has been makukuha po natin to sa mga ating forest. So, mayroon po dyan. Yung mayroon ng decompose na mga nasa ilalim po ng mga na nagba, nagbagsakan ng mga ng mga dahon ng ating mga pla, mga trees and the best example here in sa kwento bamboo forest so yun po ang kinukuha po natin leaf mold soil this leaf mold soil has good microbial activity good beneficial microorganisms so here we put first the stand and the filter and after that uh, we we put uh, the kitchen waste. So, ang mixture po natin dito ng kitchen waste po is 1 kilogram of kitchen waste. Yeah. So, 1, one kilogram of this kitchen waste is 2, uh, 100 grams of leaf mold soil. So, ang gagawin po natin, layered by layered po siya. So, mauna po natin yung ating uh, kitchen waste. Uh, 1 kilogram of kitchen waste in the first layer. And we add 100 grams of leaf mold soil. Uh, so after that, we put again and the uh, kitchen waste, one kilogram again, and add uh, 100 grams of uh, leaf mold soil. And hanggang po siya mapuno. So this, so maglagay pa rin po kayo ng, ng space, at least mga two inches. So that's, and um, put label, uh, put kitchen waste and compost, uh, example 7, 17, 20, 20. And uh, uh, harvesting for, for this is two weeks. So 7, 31, you have a uh, good kitchen waste compost. So this uh, seventh day po natin ang kitchen waste compost and 14th day compost. And this uh, we can also collect and compost juice and we can apply it to uh, as full yard spray, 10 ml for this compost, uh, again, 10, 10 ml of for this compost juice uh, for one liter of unchlorinated water. So you can spray it uh, best for our container gardening and other cups. So mayroon din po tayong example dito, yung ating bar composting. So wala po siyang stand. Direkta pong linalagay yung ating mga kitchen waste dito sa ating barrel. barrel. And after that, pinapadecompose po natin siya. Almost one month to two months. And after that, we can dry and seed and store. So, sa ating mga viewers po dyan na walang makuha po na leaf mold soil and others, yung ating mga kitchen waste, uh, lalagyan po natin. Mostly, yung iba po mupunta po sa Starbucks. Hindi po natin sponsor yung Starbucks. But yung coffee ground na natitira doon or coffee ground, we can use is and we can use is as decomposer or mamaya po I will teach regarding indigenous microorganisms that enhance and improve and, and to become mapabilis po yung ating decomposition. Yeah, so best for composting methods and ito po example of composting po natin. Yeah, so uh, example of mini vermicomposting drum. Ayan. Using vermiculture, or we use African night color in the, here in the Philippines. So, madami na po nagago ngayon ng African night color because this was the best organic fertilizers for our plants. Yeah, so by the use of the ram, uh, put the, uh, the kitchen waste or um, substrates. Example of substrate, we have banana trunks. We can use these banana trunks, ipil ipil leaves, kakawati leaves. Uh, we can use that and other um, kitchen waste. So after you partially decompose it, because African night color, it's partially decomposed, so not fresh um, kitchen waste. So first, we need to decompose partially our kitchen waste or other substrate for almost uh, one month. So after that, we introduce now the, uh, the worm or the African night color. So, this worm will eat your partially decomposed compost and produce a vermicast or vermica, vermicompost that has 
kung seven times more compared to the our regular compost. So more nutritious po siya compared to our um, our compost. So we can use that. So our African night color ranges from one thousand seven hundred fifty pesos to one thousand per kilo. So, uh, and, but it multiplies faster. In uh, one month, your one kilo becomes almost two to three kilos of worm. So, and this worm can eat um, at least one kilogram of compost per ratio po nila one kilogram din po ng worm. So, ito po ay uh, it eats and can produce um, many compost, um, vermicast or vermicompost. So next po natin, so this uh, example, yung inyong ginawang kitchen compost, vermicast or vermi, uh, vermicast or vermicompost can be added to the, this carbonized sisal. Ito pong carbonized sisal ay inuling po na uh, apa or rice, rice hull. So, is, it is carbonized and so inuling po na rice hull so it is more nutritious compared to our mm, fresh rice hull and, and our ordinary soil so we mix it for potting mix materials for one part compost one part carbonized rice hull and one part soil example we have one pail of compost one pail of carbonized rice hull and one pail of soil so regular soil po so here in Department of Agriculture, we encourage, we have project of urban agriculture. So this topic na pag-discuss ko po sa inyo is the best for um, growing naturally grown vegetables po natin that has safe. So we assure Lee that our produce is safe, fresh, and high, highly nutritious. Na bagay na bagay po sa ating activity for this na food safety, everyone's business. So uh, now we for our healthy living yeah good health and good life so we promise and ito pong lecture na to is the best para po magkaroon po tayo ng long life and healthy living so yeah so at this time po i will discuss partially the selected na production of uh, organic concoction and exile so this is the Alternative for our chemical inputs or fertilizer we use, we have naturally and organic concoction and extracts. So we have concoction. First, we discuss concussions. Replacement of chemicals-based fertilizers, uh, pesticides, fungicides, repellents, chemicals-based um, growth enhancer, and other synthetic um, food ingredients for animals and plants. Yeah. And then to fermentation where the potency or the strongest or kalakasan po ng ating um, uh, ang ating fermentation is enhanced by our beneficial microorganism. So we have first the endogenous microorganism or the IMO. So we have ingredients needed. We have cooked rice, one kilogram of molasses. This is the molasses. So we use molasses um, for our plants and anim for our plants and livestock. So yan, this is example of molasses. It can be found for sa ating mga pag nagpo-process po ng sugar. So yan po, ma, yung makukuha ma doon yung iskata po niya, yun po ang makuha po natin na molasses. So yan, so first, uh, we need a box. Example po ganito. So, ito po ang best example for IMO. Nalalagayan po. So papaamagin po natin. We need to mold and the rice para po magkaroon po tayo ng white molds. Uh, it is a good beneficial microorganism. So, at po, yung aking ginawa, I cut bamboo, uh, dried bamboo, matured bamboo. So, I put markers here. So, yan po. So, ito na po yung result. Yan. So, we lalagay po natin dito yung rice. Yan. So, after that, you cook the rice. After, wash rice properly. So, dapat po yung ating paglulutuan is unclorinated and cook it normally, not too wet, not too dry, and transfer one fourth full of cooked rice into the bamboo pole. So, you observe here in pictures. Uh, and and processing for indigenous microorganism, kailangan po natin, nagka, may, mayroon po tayong personal protective equipment um, to avoid contamination. So, after that, cover it with two-layered manila paper and cellophane then tie with rubber bands and put markers. So you observe, so 
Example, IMO, date produced 9-8-2020, uh, September 8, 2020, and date of harvest 9-13-2020. Because the uh, pagpapamag po natin molding po, ang pagpapamold po ng ating rice is uh, 3 to 5 days. So, ang pinakamainam po is 5 days. So, you can put also your name here. And after that, you can put in the uh, indigenous microorganisms and the process here in bamboo forest or any forest na malamig po siya, clean, um, and has many beneficial microorganisms. So after three to five days, you must collect white molds. If na observe nyo po, you collect black molds, disregard po natin po dito because it is harmful and bad microorganisms na hindi po pwede sa ating mga um, plants. So after that, you collect, example, you collect one kilogram of rice mold and you can add one kilogram of molasses, one is to one ratio. Procedures, ayan po. After that, after you collect the uh, uh, indigenous, indigenous microorganism, you collect it and put the rice, mold the rice, lahat po yun, rice and mold the rice and add, add molasses and mix. After that, put na manila paper at the top here or cover it. After you cover it, uh, let it ferment for seven days. Yes. So for collection of uh, harvesting of concoction, here's the examples. So you gagamit po kayo na uh, personal protective equipment and you observe na white molds po yung ating mga observed. And after that, you can harvest. Uh, in the concoctions and extra. So that's the best example. And we move the, dito po, ito po ay fermented plant juice. So after po niyaan, ito po ay pwedeng pagpakain or food for our livestock. Example, chicken, hog, and others. So put the, um, yung ang katas ng ating concoction here in plastic bottles. So what the purpose of indigenous microorganisms uh, for stronger immune systems, animal stronger immune systems removes fall odor with drinking water. Uh, dosage po natin, two tablespoon. Uh, two tablespoon or uh, per liter of unchlorinated water and you can you can spray or drench two times a week um, for your plants. So and for our um, livestock, um, yung babuyang walang amoy, this is the best in digenous microorganisms. And for our kitchen waste, and mapapalalik po ang decomposition. Next po natin, fermented fruit juice. So the best can be used is banana fruit, papaya, uh, squash, pumpkin, watermelon, or, or any fruits na available po sa inyong area. So mango, we can also use it. Na Indian mango. So sweet ripe fruit. So ang ating uh, ratio po is 1 is to 1. Then we can observe, clean and wash the fruits, unchlorinated water, drain for five minutes. And after that, you need to slice an inch size of the kalabasa or banana or papaya. So our papaya, please remove the seeds. And here in kalabasa, you can remove the seeds or you can add. So you can, you can add sa fermentation. Pwede mo na po yung i-add. So... And wag na, yung saging po ay wag na po natin babalatan. Yun na po, basta po malinis po siya. So after that, after mo po mamix siya at the molasses, and after that, put the nylon screen. So use the nylon screen or yung sa sibuyas po natin, pwede po natin gamitin yun. And add 5 to 8 pieces of 25 to 50 gram stone. Uh, ito po ay pinag-sterilized na po natin na stone. So Pabigat po sa ating concoctions. And put label. After that, um, put manila paper. Before po mag-label, lagyan mo na po ng manila paper. Or kung may uh, mayroon na pong takip yung inyong balde or pail or any container, okay na po yun. And kung wala naman po, lagyan nyo po ng two-layer manila paper. After that, put markers. Um, put nyo po yung date of produce. Example, we produce uh, October 16, 2020, and the fermentation of fermented food juice is for one week. So 16 plus 7, uh, 23. So uh, October 23 po natin ma-harvest yung ating fermented food juice. 
So what's the purpose of fermented fruit juice for potassium fertilizer best for our uh, egg, eggplant? Uh, fruiting stage na po siya and yung ating um, kamatis or tomato. It also taste enhancer para po mas mapahamis, mapatamis po yung ating mga fruits and others um, planted crops. So the same dosage po siya. 2 tablespoons per liter of water. Spray or drench 2 times a week and total fermentation 7 days. So we have fermented plant juice. So we can use kangkong, uh, kamoti tops, leguminous plants, banana stalks, and 1.0 kg mulasa. So note po nyo, the fermented plant juice, ang ratio po natin 2 plants and 1 part mulasa. Example, we have 2 kg part, 2 uh, here in Example, we have three kilograms, so it is two parts, and one one part of molasses. Ibig sabihin po kalahati po ng ating material. So example, three kilograms of this, pwede pong isalang or pwede nyo pong imix lahat yan. So one point kilogram of molasses, and you can reduce it. Example, you have two kilogram kangkong, you need one kilogram of molasses, or you have one kilogram um, kamote tax or any. Uh, legumes, example, in kakawate, you can all, also use it. So, 2 kg of that and 1 part of molasses, 1 kg. Next, same procedure po, um, same with uh, fermented fruit juice. We need to chop, drain, uh, you wash, need to wash. After that, you drain 5 minutes, slice to an inch size, mix all plants, molasses, thoroughly in uh, 20 liters. Oh. And after that, you put mo po yung nylon screen. Same procedure with the fermented fruit juice and fruit label. The fermentation for this is seven days. Example, we produce October 16, 2020. We can harvest it on October 23, 2020. And as natural got enhancer, uh, nitrogen fertilizers, natural got enhancer mixed with drinking water. And same dosage, two tablespoons per liter of water and spray or drench one to two times a week. Seven days po ang ating fermentation. Best for our planted pechay, our basikanapus, our best for our mustasa, best for our lettuce, litsuga lettuce po natin. And yun po, best got enhancer. Next po natin, fish amino acid. We can use uh, one kilogram fish, fish, uh, fresh fish, fish cups, gills, and others. We can use it. So, advice po namin yung pinaka less cost na fish po natin yung ating gamitin. Ang ratio po natin, 1 is to 1. So, same procedure siya. Uh, you can observe, clean, wash fish, drain for yung hasang, kaliskis, lahat po yun pwedeng gamitin natin. So, add, after that, um, put the uh, same procedure, put the nylon screen, uh, same, put the stone. After that, punasan po natin and cover it with manila paper. Yeah. And note po nyo, and the fermentation for this is 14 days. 14 days po ang fermentation for fish amino acid. Next, uh, the best fish amino acid used for nitrogen fertilizer, put in source for, uh, put in supplement, mixed with drinking water. Same uh, dosage, two tablespoons per liter of water. And 14 days ang ating fermentation. So the best application for our um, concoction from IMO, fish amino acid, fermented plant juice, and fermented fruit juice, uh, early in the morning, at least 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and and afternoon, uh, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So habang bukas pa po yung stomata or the absorption of nutrients of the plants. Yeah. So you can drench it or you can uh, foliar spray. And we have natural pesticide po and the best example po ng ating natural pesticide, we have cetronella, so the mosquito repellent po natin. Again, sucking in feeding insect like aphids, leaf miner, white fly, leaf hopper, and beetle. So in this, uh, natural po tayo. So we did not use any chemical pesticides. And we can also use guyabanosis as you see here in the presentation. Against chewing insects like army worms, foot worms, caterpillar, soak 100 seeds in 1 liter of water overnight and blend. So you can uh, collect ka 100 seeds of uh, guyabano seeds. Um, mo po, or if you have blender, you can blend it and 
and put uh, the seeds on one liter of water and soak it for overnight. After overnight, you can na mix na po you on and you can also add uh, aqua food, gomamela flower or perla soap as a sticker. So pag inapply mo po yung inyong goyabano seed extract, hindi po siya kaagad mawawala sa lid. So mag-stick po siya doon and and the one liter um, na pig soap mo po once unclorinated one liter you can add sa ating 16 liters of water. So and next po natin chili or sili capsicum capsicum anum. So variety of insect blend 100 grams of chili. Same with the procedures of goyabano seed extracts and citronella. So we can use it as a sprayer or natural pesticide. So we will not use any chemical inputs. So these in concoction and extracts are best for our container gardening. Na, uh, we want to achieve for healthy living, good health and long life for our container gardening naturally produced. Ito po ay go namin here in our office. So naturally gone. Uh, ang products po natin. So, um, pechay, the best example. So, lettuce, you can also plant in the different containers. So, yeah. So, the best example for a container gardening. Yes. So, that's. For soft gardening. So, uh, I have discussed partially the brief po regarding organic farming. So here in our office and our Department of Agriculture, uh, we encourage to plant um, your own food. So magtanim po tayo ng ating mga plants sa ating mga naturally grown. So magtanim po tayo sa mga ating container na makakahelp na po sa ating environment. And safe po, so sabi po natin, safe po sa atin, walang residues po tayo because Alam po natin yung ating pinag-produce na naturally go na mga uh, organic fertilizers, organic compulsion and extracts that will not harm the human, uh, will not harm the humans, and also the, our plants, the animal livestock, and especially are the whole the environment. So mapapalangalagaan po natin yun. So I hope na you learn and kahit konti po regarding my presentation regarding uh, Organic agriculture for healthy living, good health, and long life. So, Derek Foy will present uh, regarding video presentation on processing of fermented plant juice for natural growth enhancer. So, my if we play po si Sir Foy. Ah, sige. Sige. Ay po natin. for playing the video for fermented plant juice. After my discussion regarding uh, organic agriculture for healthy living, good health, and long life, uh, meron na po tayong cooking show. So we'll discuss regarding processing, basic processing of organic food juice in the past. I will share that. Thank you. 
Magandang araw mga ka-OA kasama natin sa Organikong Pag-Agrikultura. Ako si Hermi M. Opresyo from Agricultural Training Institute Regional Training Center 5 or ATI Bicol. Sa ngayon, samahan niyo po akong gumawa ng natural na abono na mabisa sa ating mga... Ang ating apron, kinakailangan din po natin ang ating gloves at kinakailangan po natin ng face mask. Ito po ay para So, sorry po, we have a little technical problem regarding play in the video. Sir, may we ask you, Mr. Hermie? Yes, yes, oh, yes, sir. Okay na po yun, sir. So, sorry po, we can have uh, video. We can have technical problem po. But before we show the video, can we ask you some, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. How can they uh, uh, contact you or avail, and what are the available services of your office that the public can can uh, ask for? Yes, sir. So, here po in Agricultural Training Institute, we are uh, attached agency po kami in the Department of Agriculture. So, we focus on training. We have a training extension arm of Department of Agriculture. So, we have different services. So, this one you po, follow you po yung aming Facebook page and just search for ATI Beagle. It is Bicol or ATI Bicolanda. So we have a Facebook page. Follow me po kami because we posted different uh, training. Uh, we have different buyer programs. For example, livestock, crop, high value crop, organic agriculture, and RBO and other po. So we can, uh, pwede nyo rin po kami subscribe. At, at this time po, we have live on the ATI Bicol YouTube Tarapai channel. So we have channel po. Uh, it, this uh, activity has been seen. Nakikita po ito sa aming ATI Bicol YouTube channel. So, and you can also contact our office. Yan po. And personally po, pwede niyo po akong contact sa aking cell phone number. My cell phone number. 
That, that you guys offer have some uh, registration fee or is it for free? Uh, no, yeah, sir, we have uh, free registration for them. Uh, free, we have free training, so we have free training fee. So we, uh, we, uh, we serve free to the public. All of our farmers, special folks, are in visual and other clients with the other two now. So if they are not from Bicol, there is a training center that the DA provide, for example, in Isabella or in Mindanao. We have different training centers and all over the Philippines. But in here, we have a agricultural training institute, the ATI Bicol. So we serve the Bicol region and uh, our survey channel also caters different. Um, all over the Philippines and outside the country also third. Nabo po na aming channel. So, mayroon din po mga training centers. Pumunta lang po kayo sa Department of Agriculture with uh, office, office, office center in all over the Philippines. And mayroon din po agricultural training institute sa inyong region. Yung wow, it's good. Yeah, we don't know about how those kinds of trainings are available. Thank you so much for the information. So, okay. it's... Uh, where the technical people fix our technical problem? Can they show the video now? Thank you very much, Mr. Hermie Opresio. You really did uh, made a good discussion with a very short time that we have uh, we have given you, and we really thank you for all the inputs that you have given us, especially in discussing about the introduction of the Philippines RA10068, the Organic Agriculture Act of 2010, the principle of organic agriculture, and also the benefits and advantages of organic farming, the production of homemade organic fertilizer for container gardening, and the production of selected organic con concoction and extracts, etc., etc. Continue to do your good work, sir, and mabuhay po kayo at mabuhay po ang DA ATI. At this time... This live cooking show will be the sub-theme nutrition, nutritious food for a healthy nation. And to cook us some Soup cream with pet chai, kalabasa, and malunggay. Eggplant mosaka with organic native chicken, served with blue rice. And the passion fruit with herbs juice, which is in time for our lunch. We have the chef of the Naga City. We have Chef Roy B. Resurrection. Sir, it's your turn to cook for our lunch today. Mr. Chef, Chef Roy, Resurrection, sir. Thank you so much po. So, napunta po ako sa venue po namin for cooking show. Uh, one minute lang po for the preparation of Chef Roy, Resurrection. Thank you so much po. One minute po. Thank you. Okay, sure. At this time, may I ask the technical person na kalayaan to kind na play the video uh, on uh, World Food Day, our action are our future. Can we show the video, please? Everyone across our food chain has an important role to play, and that means you too. This year, we at FAO celebrate a different World Food Day. The COVID-19 pandemic exacerbates the situations, adding tens of millions to the number of undernourished people. Across the world, 2 billion people do not have regular access to sufficient food. 
750 million individuals are experiencing severe food insecurity and 690 million people are hungry. This is why we produce enough food to feed everyone. Yet many suffer from malnutrition. Today, on the World Food Day, we are calling for global solidarity to help all populations. We need to make our food system more resilient to withstand the climate shocks. To deliver affordable and healthy food, to nourish a growing population, and to sustain the planet. We call for your action. Remember, our actions are our future. Thank you very much. Is uh, Chef Roy Resurrection ready now for our live cooking show for the nutritious food for a healthy nation? I would also like to uh, congratulate uh, FAO for receiving the uh, Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize Award. It is seldom given to an organization and I think this year FAO really deserve, uh, deserve this kind of uh, award. So when you look at the uh, the uh, videos and theme for the for the uh, World Food Day 2020, historic significance of this event, this day marks the foundation of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations that happened in October 16, 1945. So this really today is their uh, 75th year. You were probably misguided when you had heard first heard about World Food Day, reading about the day that many of us barely even know exists on our laptops and our smartphone. The, birth, the first thing that pops up naturally in anyone's mind may very well be risotto or ribs. But no, this day, October 16, is the World Food Day. It's not about that. As the website of the World Food Day in the US appropriately, appropriately phrases, it is a day of action against hunger, a day of action against hunger, a day when a step should be taken towards eradication of hunger, if not, globally and locally. Is the technical team ready now for our uh, cooking session? Are we ready with the Chef Roy Resurrection? So for our international team for this World Food Day, this okay. World Food Day 2030 is Grow, nourish, sustain together. Our actions are our future. So several outreaches and activities are conducted by businesses, NGOs, and media and general public governments. And they promote awareness among the general public for those who suffer from hunger. So uh, is the FA, uh, is the Chef Resurrection ready? Or uh, Dr. Amilu, are you on the line? Dr. Amilo Benitez of the United Nations Association of the Philippines. Yes, I'm here very intently. Yeah, so maybe we can uh, we can hear your message very before we do the live cooking show, ma'am. Uh, at this time, I will present to you yes. a very dynamic lady, former president of the Philippine Human, uh, Philippine Women's University. She came from the lineage of women leaders, educator, especially the very popular Tita Helen Benitez is her aunt. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the president of the United Nations Association of the Philippines and also the head of different organization, which is very, a lot to mention. A lady with a heart, a mother, grandmother, a very good friend to us, and our family, not by blood, but by mind and service to humanity. The very strong, dynamic, and women leaders of the Philippines who is changing this, the country and the world to goodness. 
Let us all welcome Madam President of the United Nations Association of the Philippines, Madam Amilu Benitez Reyes. Thank you very much for that very warm and biased introduction. I think I am very inspired with all of this discussion and for the next three days, we must congratulate uh, Dr. Ramona Renese. The only difference is we have not heard her sing. She's very good in singing also. And I think singing makes our plants grow better. Anyway, I'm happy to be here, but more than anything else, I'd like to be able to express to our colleagues and those who are celebrating the food day, that I think it's more than just awareness. I think we have to do something, action. And I believe if there's a way by which Ajuna can penetrate education system, and provide all of those things that you mentioned to us today to make sure that they're part of the curriculum, to make sure that they're part of our regionalization, part of our values formation, part of the transformation. I believe education today is very powerful in transforming our mindset to something that is beyond ourselves. And that is what we are trying to do in UNAP. We're trying to be the voice of the impossible. With the eyes of faith, we are doing all that is possible. And with our faith in humanity and our Christian commitment, we believe we will get the incredible. So with that kind of message, I hope that with this kind of undertaking, United Nations through UNAP that has been existing over the past 73 years, that we can make a difference by ensuring that all the good of what we have achieved in terms of the different associations of the United Nations can also be the means by which we can turn over or we can provide the bridge or the superhighway by which the United Nations can also directly relate to the ASEAN communities. We need to be able, UNAP's vision is the linking bridge, the bridge that will connect the United Nations as well as ASEAN. The bridge that will say beyond gender equality or beyond equality for gender partnership rather than just empowerment, but we want partnership because in partnership, we are able to build a stronger family, and with stronger family, with a stronger nation, and with everybody in the family contributing to the issues of food security, to the issue of peace, culture of peace, to the issue of humanity, humanism, it's all being at home in the education of the young in the family. So the ASEAN considers family, that's why we are now advocating mothering, mothering the environment, mothering church, mothering humanity, and above all, mothering the education system with the heart, not only competencies, but more than anything else, we want to advocate the learning pillars. And of course, some of what we have achieved over the past few days should be part of the curriculum that can make a difference and ensure that we are going to follow the different requirements that UN has achieved and penetrate that into the curriculum that can make a difference in the lives of our people. With that kind of undertaking, I don't think anybody will have to suffer hunger. They will not suffer poverty because it's within their hands and their communities to build and at the same time to plant, to process and to produce. And our efforts is to provide the communities that will ensure that they will have market access, farm to market, they will have affordable capital. At the same time, they will have technology that they will be all advised. I think the time has come. There's need for us to turn around and through the United Nations efforts, make sure that we are going to be under the present administration, a learning society. We must unlearn what we have learned in the past that is not about giving us the necessary things to do. We must relearn what is necessary 
in order for us to brace the future. And we are happy celebrating our 500 years of Philippine Christianity. And we hope in this whole undertaking, poverty will be elevated, eliminated, and we are emancipated because we will be able to believe we have the capacity to change. And I hope our message, the UNAP, is trying to bridge the glaring realities that have sectoral and division. What we want is harmony, unity, and above all, a transforming society that can ensure that poverty and food insecurity shall be worked out in everybody's life. Thank you and good morning to all of you. Thank you very much, Madam Amilu Benitez Reyes. It is indeed a privilege working with you and you sharing all your knowledge to us. I'm not biased, but I'm just telling the truth. I've worked with uh, Madam Benitez since uh, February of this year, and she has really given us some good inputs. She's a thinking president who leads you to a good vision of helping our country. So at this time, the most awaited lunch that will be cooked for us by Chef Roy Resurrection of Naga City. Sir, I'll give you the stage for us to have a healthy food. So, good morning again. So, welcome to the cooking show for nutritious food. Yeah. We, at this time, po, magluto po tayo ng naturally grown vegetables po natin for healthy and nutritious food. So, Ayan po, makakasama po natin ang uh, culinary chef ng Naga City. Kung ito walang ito pa po, si Chef Roy B. Resorencia. Chef, good morning. Good morning po, Pia Herbie, at sa lahat ng nanonood na ABI, sa Barbie Boy Channel, at sa mga uh, nakikinig rin po sa isang ibang pangyayon. So ngayon po, ang gagawin po natin, dahil na-uso po yung mga tinatawag na uh, organic or slow food uh, method. So, ang gagawin po natin is uh, kakaiba yung, ano, ano yung ating recipe na gagawin. Uh, usually kasi, pag sinabi natin talong, gulay, pet, sihaw. So, ngayon, gagawin natin medyo international. Sayo po ay nasa uh, UN or, uh, celebration po. World Food Day ng United Nations. So, ang gagawin po natin yun is ang version po natin, ng Pinoy version ng musaka. Ano ba yung musaka? Musaka is actually a Greek uh, dish na kung saan ang traditional na ginagamit nila is lamb. Pero dito, ang gagawin po natin is mga native pig. Actually, grow native pig. So, mayroon tayo from uh, pork dito. From a native pig. And then, yung ating bagong harvest, no? Kanina na siya. Kanina lang, in-harvest ni Kuya Herbie yung ating talong doon sa ating uh, uh, greenhouse. No? Talagang halos wala talaga siya, ano, wala siya pesticidyo, wala siya uh, synthetic na kung ano, sa kakagal na mga pesticidyo. So, ang unang gagawin po natin, uh, susutin muna po natin ang ating meat. Gagawa muna tayo po na tiyatawag ng meat sauce. Kung meron po ay papel, uh, lapis or ball pen, para nyo po yung sulat. So, by the way, ito po ay wala standard recipe. So, pwede nyo damihan, pwede nyo kotihan, pwede nyo kung ano ba, wala kayong talong, or pwede nyo yung paglagay nyo pa ang gulay. So, walang gagawin po natin is magsusutin po tayo ng onion. One medium size onion. Okay. Dalagyan. White onion, chef. Oh, white onion. Okay. So, tayo lang po natin. So, one medium onion. Yes, and then, three to four cloves of garlic. Antayin lang po natin siya maluto ng konti para maging translucent. Okay. So, Kuya Hermie, sa kanina, na, kanina, ikinig ako sa uh, discussion mo about yes, sa mga organic, mga uh, urban, ano, urban container gardening, usok-usok ngayon, di ba? Yes, yeah. Ano ba yung mga kadalasan 
gulay na ninuluto natin sa ating mga I mean inaalagaan natin sa ating mga bakuran. So common yung chance syempre sa ating mga healthy for salad we have uh, planted different lettuces, variety of lettuce, we have also mm-hmm. cherry tomatoes planted also in container and mustasa po we also planted in different containers and yung ating pinaka common pet chai we also planted eggplant and regular tomatoes po natin. Ah, Siyempre, hindi natin kakalimutan, lalo dito sa probinsya, sa Bicol, halos lahat ng bakuran, ginagamit natin ng pambakod, yung malunggay. Yes, yes. So, malunggay, mamaya, lulutuin natin siya, uh, tuturo natin ang kakaibang sabaw or soup. Um, sabi ang ganyan nila, uh, it's considered as uh, superfood. No? Kasi sabi yung ganyan, seven times more vitamin C than uh, orange or calamansi. At yung potassium niya, mataas ka yun, vitamin and different ano. So gagamitin rin natin mamaya yung ating uh, malunggay. So dito po, meron po tayong ground pork. Uh, this one is a native pork. Uh, meron rin po kasi kami advocacy na dito sa Philippine Native Racers uh, Pig Association. So ang in-introduce po natin yung mga probiotics na feeds. So, mas malalaman mo yung, yung port natin, malasang-malasa. Ibigat lang mo natin lang. Uh, so, isusotay lang po natin ng konti sa para maging ano siya. Uh, kumbaga sa Tagalog, sampot siya. Okay. Or in English, we this will be rendered. Okay, yung fat niya, rendered lang sa mag-add ng flavor. At this time, maglalagay rin tayo ng salt and pepper. Okay. Purely natural tayo siya. Yes. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Walang additives, walang, walang monosodium glutamate. Wala. Wala siyang ano. So, salt, pepper. Kasi magandaan ng, ano, ng naturally grown uh, animals or livestock. Yung lasa niya, nag, ano na siya, kumbaga, malalaman mo yung natural na lasa ng pagkain. Kasi, sabi ang ganyan nila, based sa studies, kung anong kinakain ng animal, yun ang nagiging flavor niya. So, for example, kumakain siya ng pangit na pagkain, yun rin magiging no. So, habang ginagawa natin yan, Magagawa naman po tayo ng ating tinatawag na roux. A roux. It's a classic uh, French cuisine or French technique. Uh, gagawa tayo ng white sauce. White sauce or bechamel. Okay. Ah, sorry. Uh, yeah, bechamel. It's a um, white sauce using milk. So yung ating milk, we're using organic uh, goat's milk. Dahil meron po tayo dito sa Bicol ng mga uh, goat racer, particularly for ano, uh, for milk production. So gagawin natin, maglalagay tayo ng 2 tablespoon uh, flour. Any flour siya? Pwedeng gamitin? Uh, just a regular flour. Okay. So ang gagawin natin, i- parang ilunuto lang natin siya ng konti. Huwag masyado magba-brown kasi white sauce ang gagawin natin. Uh, kung wala kayong butter, you can use oil or any fat. And then, pag naamoy nyo na para sa naamoy pulburon, you can add uh, milk. This one is uh, approximately like uh, 500 ml or half liter of milk. Okay. Tapos isi-simmer lang natin siya. So, mapapasin mo ko yung Hermie, yung ating ano, nag-render na yung fat. Yes, yeah, yeah. Ang kagandahan na ito, based on studies, sa Bureau of Animal Industry, especially sa bahay ni uh, Chao, may nga pala kay Dr. Ines Santiago, uh, may mga studies na ginawa na ang fat ng native pig, especially the one that's using probiotics, at may mag- mababa siyang ano, mababa yung pwede ng cholesterol level. At ito yung ating sikreto sa ating gagawin na masarap mo sa ka. Okay? Ang pakita natin na we're using fresh herbs. Dito tayo, uh, Sir Freud. So, papansin mo, dito, 
urban container gardening. Yeah, yeah. We do have Italian yeah. oregano, we do have basil, we do have chives, we do have tarragon. So gagamitin natin yung to flavor our musaka. Ba, musaka, musaka. So, hindi mo na kailangan, ano, dahil ang uh, bukay. Hindi ka mangamban, uy, baka kung wala mo ano, kasi meron kang tanin. Instead of planting, ito, 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 We will add uh, a bunch of uh, Italian oregano. Okay. Um, actually, sabi niyo nila, kung wala kang Italian oregano, you can also use this one. Yes. Makita ba sa video? Okay. Uh, this one is Cuban oregano. So, pang-plantito na rin siya. Yes, yes. This one is a barricaded... Uh, Ganda ng itsura niya, yung foliage niya. No? It's a variegated uh, salad oregano. You can add it here. Okay. I-crumble lang natin. And then we will add sweet basil. Okay. Like four or five uh, sweet basil. So, Chef, ano po ang magiging purpose nitong herbs sa ating ginagawa ng recipe? Kasi nga, di ba sabi mo mga kanina, Kuya Ermi, na di ba, chef, hindi tayo sa nai gumagamit ng mga, alam niyo, mga betsy, yeah. mga ano. This will serve as the uh, enhancing in the flavor of yeah. the meat. Yeah, yeah. Especially uh, Italian or even mga French, sanay sila gumamit ng herb. Mapapansin mo, no? hindi lang nakikita-amoy sa video, pero amoy na amoy mo na yung, ano, yung aroma. Yes. Yeah. Mapapansin mo, nagbabrown na siya. At this time, we will add our pra, uh, our tomato sauce or pomodoro. This one, yung, especially pag may abundant yung kamatis nyo, medyo mahirap lang ituro kasi ito. Siguro, in the near future, I will demonstrate how to make your own uh, pomodoro sauce. This one is a pomodoro. Uh, tomato sauce, no? Mapapansin natin dati, di ba? Especially, sabi ko ngayon, nasa World Food Organization tayo. I mean, nasa UN. Mapapansin natin, ang dami, minsan ang daming ano. So, yung ating ginagawa dito is, minimix na po natin yung ating milk para hindi siya magbumuo. Okay? Iwasan yung pamumuo ng milk. Simmer lang po natin siya hanggang sa lumapot, hanggang sa maluto yung pinaka- Uh, kasi mag-thicken. Okay? Kaya medyo malaglaw pa siya. Okay? So, so, yung ating, ano, yung ating sauce, simmer natin for uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So, while we're waiting, dun sa ating sauce, ngayon, yung gagawin na natin, ipepe-prayer, ihanda na natin yung ating uh, musaka. Actually, ang musaka, it's just like a lasagna. Siguro kung nakatikim kayo ng lasagna, medyo familiar siguro sa inyo yung lasagna, lasagna pasta. So instead of pasta, we're using different kind of vegetables. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin sa kanya, habang hinihintay natin maluto ang ating uh, sauce, sa ating uh, dish, Okay, sa ating uh, lasagna dish, meron na po tayo dito 1 kilo of uh, potatoes. Okay. So, gagawin lang natin, i-fry na po yan. I-fry ko na. Oo, oh, fry ko na para uh, mabilis yung ano. Nothing special, just fried. No? Rituin nyo lang. Ang hiwa niya almost a uh, one-fourth inch. Okay. I-layer lang natin. Okay. Para kang gumagawa ng ano nga, lasagna. So instead of lasagna, pasta, ilalagay natin is vegetable. So you can grow your own potatoes sa inyong bakuran. Diba? Isang, diba minsan, Kuya Herbie, may nabibili kang patatas, minsan nakakalimutan mo, nag-uugat na siya. So yun, instead of itapon mo, pwede mo siyang ano, pwede mo siyang i ano, pwede mo siyang pakinabangan. Okay? So after the potatoes, 
meron po tayo dito fried eggplant. Natural egg grown. No preservatives, no additives. Okay. okay. No chemicals added. So, pinirito po yan. No? Split into half. And then, prito lang. Okay. So, gagawa ka lang talaga na parang lasagna. So, habang inaan natin yan, nakapreheat na yung ating oven for 200 degrees Celsius. Okay. Yan. Kuya, kaya rin, parang na talaga magluto ka ka. Kakasama sa, yeah. ano, no? sa uh, cooking show. Okay. So, dito sa atin, kaya hindi siya nilag hindi ko siya nilagyan ng standard recipe kasi pwedeng anything na ano, pwedeng kahit ano talaga mo. Kung wala kang talong, pwede siguro o iba, abandon sa iyo ang pecha, eh. kung abandon sa iyo ang ganitong klaseng gulay, eh, pwede. So, pwede nating hinaan. Busin na natin 'to, no? Para marami nag-aabang sa ating audience. Yes, yeah. Okay? So habang isinalin natin yan, lalagay po natin ng ating cut okra. Yes. Okra is really good for your digestion, especially yung enzyme niya. No? Makapansin mo yung parang laway-laway niya. It helps uh, yung mga probiotics sa inyong ano, sa inyong chan. And especially kung nagda-diet or medyo... Uh, Uh, gusto mo makaiwas sa tinatawag na colon cancer, you can uh, have some diet with okra. Yan siya is naturally grown here also yes. in ACIB. So, okay. shout out po natin yung sa HBC report editor po natin here in ACIB. Sir Eman, thank you so much sa, sa inyong vegetables, donated vegetables, and sa nagplant po na yun yan. Kevin. So, gagawin natin sa kanya. Para yung layer of flavor niya, lalagyan na rin natin siya ng salt and pepper. Okay. Salt and pepper. Okay. Yes. Amoy na amoy, Chef, yung ating aroma dito. Okay. Yung iba kasi nagtatanong, Chef, bakit tuwing nagluluto ka walang recipe? This is just a, a basic principle. Sudan so, yun lang yung recipe niya. Bahala na kayo kung anong gusto niyong flavor. Kasi pag nilagay natin yung recipe, para natin kinukulog sa box yung ano yung paggagawa niyo. Kumbaga, kaya ano yung creativity niyo ang ibabaw. So, medyo sa mga okay, para bitin niyo ang herbs, magdadagdag na naman tayo na uh, ating uh, Italian oregano do sa ating uh, lasagna, ah, lasagna, lasagna o lasagna, musaka. Eggplant musaka, okay? So, ayan, ibabasin mo dito ito natin yung ating video. Prepare mo ito. Pansinin mo. Paano mo nalaman kung luto na isang tomato sauce? Okay? Sa culinary term, ang tawag namin dito is pinkase or pinkate. Uh, konting trivia lang. Is para lang. Ba't kailangan mo luto yung tomato sauce? Ito yung nakaiwas para mapanis ang isang, mm. isang tomato sauce. Pag mapapansin mo, direct. Mapapasin mo, lumulutam na yung kulay orange na oil. Ayan, ayan. Yan yung tinatawag dating lycopene. Okay? Kaya mapapasin mo, karamihan ng Italian, walang sakit sa puso. Kasi everyday, it is included in their diet. Tomato. Yan na yung lycopene niya. Magiging pinikage or pinkase. Ibig sabihin, luto na yung sauce. Luto na yung ano niya. So, Ayan natin. So, gagawin natin sa kanya. Okay. Carefully. I-lalagay natin yung ating sauce sa ibabaw. By the way, kung meron mga audience na or uh, gusto nyo subukan na tiyatawag na vegan or uh, vegetarian, you can eliminate or I mean, you can uh, remove the the pork and you can use uh, alternative uh, meat like for example uh, you can have an organic uh, soy okay so mapapansin mo dito ni na natin natin ng chef yung ating mga hindi na siya pigo 
hindi na uh, kasi uh, 15 to 20 minutes to sa ano eh. 15 to 20 minutes to sa ano sa yung tawag nating uh, oven okay so next natin the next step is ilalagay natin yung ating bechamel okay the bechamel yung ating white sauce papasarap si Kuya Herb yes sir So, depende sa ano nyo, depende sa preparation nyo kung gusto nyo uh, sobra bang dami ng sauce or sobra thick, depende sa inyo. Okay? So, kanina sabi yung ganyan, pwede nyo tanggalin yung ano, pwede nyo tanggalin yung pork dun sa recipe ko. Um, pwede nyo rin yung mawa, tulad yun, uh, abundant ang inyong abadad ang inyong uh, kalabasa or zucchini or anything na abundant sa inyo, pwede. Then we add, uh, this one is organic cheese. Okay. You can use mozzarella, you can use uh, kesong puti. Okay. And then, ang gagawin natin, ipapasok natin siya sa oven and we will cook for uh, 10 to 15, uh, Ma uh, 10 to 20 minutes depende sa ano yan. okay so ang tawag nito sa sa french is au gratin o sino ba au gratin iba brown natin yung ano iba brown natin yung ibabaw okay lulutuin yung sauce maluluto yung cheese maluluto yung ating musaka eggplant musaka ipat na natin to sa gitna. Siguro doon lang ang settings niya is taas-baba kasi may mga ano yan. May mga settings. So, dapat gumagana yung ibaba at yung ilalim. Okay. So, aabangan natin yung mamaya. So, habang papa wait lang. Baka may mga tanong sa audience. Ayan. Okay, It's time na naman para mag Mag, ano, mag, uh, Q&A tayo sa, sa ating audience. So yung naka, nasa Zoom po natin, you can put the message sa ating chat box po. So yung naka-enter po sa application po natin. Medyo po si Dr. Mona, from BU and other guests. So you can chat in sa ating so, questions, questions, clarifications. So the next um the next recipe na gagawin po natin is gagawa po tayo ng soup. Okay? Uh, bagay na chef kami na tagulan. Ay, Especially sa mga energy use natin, sa mga uh, left end, the teachers natin. You can use the soup as a supplementary nutrient sa mga bata natin. Alam niyo ba na sobrang daming nababansot na bata ngayon sa Pilipinas dahil nga kula sila sa mga sa nutrition, nutrition. At nakalungkot isipin na may mga time na abandang na kalabasa. Alam niyo, minsan kami nita mo sa news na pinamimigay na lang yung kalabasa pinatapo na lang o pinatap na lang sa, sa mga campsite. Dahil wala nang ano, wala nang sila pakinatapa. Ang kagandahan nun, if, if the government or the farmers will, will know how to process their, their vegetables, it will eliminate two problems. One is food security. Okay, Ibig sabihin yung malnutrition and then income for the farmers. So ang importante lang, this one of my advocacy is to help the farmer how to produce their own how to process or how to produce So, ang gagawin po natin is, uh, actually, this recipe was feature, featured in Food Magazine no ako yung sudyante pala. Uh, actually, this the original recipe nito ay roasted kamote and kalabasa soup. So, ang iba, no? Parang nakaalala natin ng kalabasa. So, ang gagawin po natin, habang inigtay po natin uh, yung ating pan, 
We do have, pwede nyo kayong sulat yung ating ingredients. So we do have one thumb size. Ibig sabihin, sing laki ng, ng hindi laki, na uh, garlic, ah, uh, ginger, or luya. Okay. One thumb size of ginger. Uh, one medium size white onion. You can also use red onion. And then, uh, three to four cloves of garlic. Ganun pa rin, so sotay lang natin. Pero pagandaan nito, sa ating garlic soup, we will add another superfoods na kadalasan makikita lang natin sa ating mga pangkukan. Okay? So ang gagawin po natin, magsosotay po tayo. Sosotay natin. We'll add oil. This one is a coconut oil. Or garlic coconut oil. Kasi kung sa puso sa keson, yes, sa amin, sa travel sa amin, sa edad luna, sa dapat sa aking mother, uh, we can use coconut oil because it's good for the heart. Uh, ang kagandaan pati no, kalabasa, yun naman natin, di ba, sa atin yung mga matamunta, o pag sumulubid na ang mata mo, kumain ka ng kalabasa, okay? Any, any vegetables na matataas ang mga kulay, like orange, uh, yellow, or purple, ito yung matataas ang mga uh, starch yan. So, ang una natin gagawin is sosotay natin yung ating garlic. Then, onion. Lagi kong pinapahuli ang ano, uh, garlic. Sorry, ang ino lang is ginger. And then, huli-huli is garlic. Okay. Kailangan lang maging medyo translucent. Okay. Any questions sa ating mga ano, participants? So, ano, meron bang nagta-type? Type lang kayo sa Zoom uh, chat box kung may mga questions or clarification or chat box. So, habang sinusotay niyo siya, you can add now the alabas. Wash. Wash. Okay. Ito, yung squash natin, especially pagka abundant ng season, peso, peso, eh, no? sobrang mura. So, ang gagawin po natin, isosotay lang siya natin ng konti. Okay. But, more better siya na sila mismo magdami na tayo lang. Oh. Para din. Ang ganda kasi sa kalabasa, no? hindi siya maselan. Hindi siya maselan na aragalan. Okay. Uh, sa kaya lang mong kalabasa kasi, ito yung bumbaga parang sustainable. No? Pag bumili ka ng kalabasa, kadalasan may buto. Yeah. Sabi mo lang yung buto. No? Uh, parang pollinated yun. Ito yung tawag na OPD or Open Pollinated Variety. Uh, shout out nga pala sa Department of Education International Cooperative Office. So, salamat po. Salamat. Ayun, bango no? Yes, sir. Amoy na amoy mo yung, ano, yung herbs, yung, yung spices natin, yung local spices natin na power of the So habang medyo malulutulutu na siya ng konti, tira natin dito. Dito natin, Sir Poy, para makita ng ating audience. Na, just imagine, meron po tayo dito, petsay. No? Hindi mo na kailangan, ano, dahil alam mo na malinis, alam mo walang, walang pesticidyo. Hindi mo kailangan ano, hindi mo kailangan bunutin. So limbawa, kailangan ko lang ng konti, kukuha lang ako ng kapiraso. Okay? So malinis naman siya. Okay. Freshly, eh. Okay. We can we can cut, okay? So shout out po natin diyan ang ating partner and host for this training. Sa Bicol University. And so we add the pechay. At ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, superfood. Yes. Yeah. Ate, paborito, malunggay. So, just imagine, itong malunggay nito, uh, daig pa pa nito yung mga vitamins na nabibili, yung mga synthetic vitamins sa, sa merkado. So, ang gagawin natin sa kanya, isasama natin sa ating 
kalabasa at pet chai. Okay? So, sotay lang natin ng konti. And then, we will add salt and pepper. Diba? Kagandaan ng sa ating sa ating niluluto, wala kang MSG. Wala kayong mga tinatawag na flavor enhancer na synthetic. The salt and pepper. Okay? Tapos, meron po tayo dito a uh, native chicken stock. No? Stock na gano'n pa. So, yung may mga buto-buto ng manok, alimbawa, di ba nag- uh, may mga alaga kayong manok, pwede nyo pakuluan, pwede nyo kunin yung kunin yung kanyang buto, ilagay nyo sa red, pakuluan nyo, and then you can uh, get a chicken stock. So, hintayin lang natin mag-boil and then we will simmer. Okay. So, tapong ginagawa natin yan, meron po tayo dito parang finished product na ano, um, pakita lang natin sa ating audience. Ayun, no? Uh, Sir Freud, boy. Pakita lang natin sa ating audience ang ating blue tarnate rice. Wow! Sarap. Dito, tingnan natin. Ayun. Blue tarnate rice. No? Kung mapapansin niyo yung ating ano, yung ating um, garden, meron siya tinatawag na blue turn at turn siya yan, no? Yung rich in antioxidant siya. Rich in ano, antioxidant. Okay? So, ito, madalas nung mga previous episode natin, ginagamit natin siya sa salad. You can eat it raw. You can use it as tea. You can use it as juice. Okay? At ang ginawa po natin, ito, napakasimpleng rice lang po ito. Nagsaing lang ako ng bigas. So instead of tubig, instead of just a regular tubig, naglagay ako ng blue tarnate. Para to add another nutrients ang kinakain. Yan, nagbubuhin na siya. Yan. So, so ang gagawin natin, okay. I'm using a hand blender. This one, tawag po dito is uh submersible uh, blender or immersion blender okay kasi ang kaganda nito kumakatakbo siya kahit may it so kailangan ay na mainit siya oh, kasi siya this one is stainless okay submersible kung wala na makain ito pwede na manggawin niyo pag naluto niyo na yung sabaw palamigin niyo sa kanya yung blender okay. sa taas taas lang natin Yes, may mga meron ito sa mga department store. Very usable to. No? Especially yung mga bata, limbawa, ayaw na ng gulay. Pagka ginawa mo ito, halos hindi nila malalaman kung ano yung lagyan ng gulay sa kaya. So, ayun po natin from Department of International Cooperation Office. Naka-live po sila. Wow. Naka-live po sila. Thank you so much po for sharing. Salamat po. So, just follow ang ating uh, 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 YouTube. No? Search you lang po. Yung tinatawag natin. Hashtag Sarabay Channel. So, nagsama na po yung ating ano, no? Nagsama na po yung hinaan po natin. Medyo ma mainit sa kamay. Ang magiging itura niya po is para sa You can post po yung questions and you can also share this activity. 
And ma-like na lang po and subscribe for this activity. Thank you so much. Uh, pwede yung gusto nyo uh, chunky, pwede yung gusto nyo super puree. Depende sa ito po o kung ano yung gusto nyo yung preference So, just imagine kung halimbawa may mga school program kayo na ipag-partner yung mga farmers uh, farmers natin sa mga teachers sabi nila, oh, instead of lugaw, instead of sopas, instead of mga spaghetti na puro ketchup lang. <laughs> Isa na nila mga sinaserve natin sa kantin. How about we need to coordinate, we need to uh, communicate with them. Let the farmer uh, give them uh, some lineup ng mga vegetables nila. Uh, ito ka, ito sa mga ano, sa mga kanalasan pati ang mga anak ng farmer, nandun din rin nag-aaral sa mga locals. So, just imagine, no? Kung ito ilalagay natin sa mga kagerong malaki, kung pili yung mga estudyante, papakain natin sila. Siguro, after a year, makagunit ka na rin yung pagkakaiba ng uh, malnutrition. Okay? Okay? Siguro, okay na ako dito sa consistency ng aking soup. Nakabi lang natin sa aking version blender. Then, ang gagawin ko lang sa kanya, Kuya Kermi, sa simmer ko lang siya na mga 10 to 15 minutes. Ah, mga 5 minutes na. 5 minutes. Okay. So, habang ginagawa natin yung ating soup, syempre, para kompleto yung ating uh, recipe, meron na tayong main course, which is uh, musaka. Yes. Um, Nagsisimay yung ating soup. Ang gagawin na po natin ngayon is another superfood. Pag siguro pagkatapos na ito, no? medyo fit na tayo. No? Magkakaroon, magkakaroon na tayo ng yung pangarap kong abs. Sakto-sakto sa event na World Food Day. Yes. Ang kagandaan po nito, ang ating next, uh, no? it's another superfood na medyo underrated. <laughs> Hindi masyado tinapansin. Siguro sabi nga kanina noon sa staff natin dito, ngayon lang daw sila nakakita nito. This one is Rosel. Makita lang natin sa ating mga mamanonood. Oh, mo yung chef basa. This one is uh, Rosel. Uh, it's a family of hibiscus. Okay? Uh, may mga commercially uh, produce na ng Rosel jam or Rosel juice na binibenta sa mga networking. So Makikita nyo doon sa kanila, ang daming mga benefits. Vitamin C, vitamin complex, D, A, sobrang dami. At yung kaninang research ko, habang binabasa kayo, uh, nakakatulong siya pagbababa ng, ng LDL, okay. yung bad cholesterol. Pag kinain natin or pag nag-regular take tayo dito ng at least three cups per day, uh, bababa yung, yung bad cholesterol, kumapasilita siya ng good cholesterol. So, maiiwasan yung tinatawag ng pagbabar ng puso. Okay? Sa mga matatanta dyan or mga natang senior, you can have this as your regular tea yes. instead of the, the regular coffee. Uh, so, ang gagawin natin sa kanya, this one is being washed. No? Pukuha lang tayo siguro mga uh, 8 to 10 pieces. Gagawin natin sa kanya, i-blender natin sa kanya siya. Medyo fresh pa po ito. Lahat yung kasama siya? Opo. So, pag, pag ano na siya, yung pag mature na, this one, pag mature na po siya, ang buto niya nagiging dark na, para siyang uh, buto ng okra. But this one, still young. So, gagawin ko sa kanya, full ko siyang ibi-blender. Okay? Gagawin, isasama ko siya, lahat. Ang dami ko nakita na ito, They, they use it as jam, they use it as tea, they use it as juice, okay? Yung iba ginagawa, ginagawa rin siyang soup. May isa ako nakita ang sudyante, ginawa siyang ano, pagpaasit kasi ito. I do have here one liter of 
One liter of water? Pamuta na lang siya. Sawing lang. Sawing. Oo. For now, gagawa tayo ng healthy. Hindi naman. Damihan na natin. Yes, yes. So, Sponsor po ito na Organic Agriculture Development Program ng CBSU A. Ay, Dr. Lawen, thank you so much po for the Rosel and for our passion. Thank you so much. Okay, saksak lang po natin yung ating member. Kung papasin nyo, dapat na po na ito. This one is really hard. Okay, the next step gagawin natin para mas yummy ang ating ang ating juice nalagyan natin siya na ito, abandon nga yan sa bingkol no? passion fruit sa lugar nyo ano kung matawag dito, pa-comment na lang sa pa-comment na lang po sa baba so ang gagawin lang po natin split natin into half okay and then i-scoop out lang natin yung kanyang seeds at pagandaan na ito, yung mismong seeds malambot siya, kinakain na rin siya Ang bango, no? Ang karamihan, yung ginagamit na sa passion fruit is mga pastry. Nalagay siya sa cakes, nalagay siya sa desserts. But this one, cool natin ilalagay sa ating dessert, ah, sa ating juice. Okay. Okay. Scoop out lang natin. Kung natin ano, isama doon. So, alam niyo ba na sabihin ganyan sa pag-aaral ng especially tulad ngayon may pandemya o tayo ng COVID magtataka kayo bakit dito sa Pilipinas ang baba ng rate ng ano ng death natin is because yun nga ang pinakakalaban ang pinakapangano talaga sa COVID is immune system This, uh, last night na uh, nanonood ako ng balita 92 years old, nag-survive sa COVID. Let's imagine, 92 years old. So, hindi, hindi porket senior ka na, hindi porket uh, immunocompromised ka na. Hindi, I mean, ayoko na maka-COVID. Maka sabihin ka yan, ah, hindi ka naman expert, hindi ka naman medical expert. But, as as you can see, ang just natin, ginawa yung mga pagkain natin as the medicine. Naniniwala ako doon. So, ang pinaka- dapat lang natin gawin is kailangan mapataas natin ang ating immune system. And when doing that, we will add this one. Uh, it is uh, organic uh, coconut sweetened nut. Okay? Coco sugar. Magbaba ang glycemic index na ito. Sa, uh, sa keso, usually, puso sa amin sa keso yung yung um, Kuba, no? Depende sa inyo kung ayaw nyo masyado matamis or gusto nyo uh, asin, depende sa pag-asin. So, gagawin ko lang sa kanya, i-blitz ko lang siya para hindi lang masyado maduro yung ano. Hindi maduro yung para buo pa rin tapos halimbawa may mga event kayo may mga wedding or ano instead of sa baso you can use mason jar you can use jars 
Uh, tulad nito, uh, wow, bango. Namoy ko yung may ng passion fruit. Chunky pa yun. Okay. Let's put it here. Tapos lagay natin sa lagay niya takip. Okay. You can also, Kuya Herbie, pwedeng pahingi ng ano, taragon. Yan. You can put some uh, taragon para may layers of flavor siya. Pwede niyo lagay ng taragon. Mag-infuse yung kanyang flavor. So, there you have it. Your superfood, passion fruit, and rosel juice. Okay? Mamaya, papalamigin lang natin to. So, ayan, sakto. Sakto-sakto ang ating uh, ating gawa. Nilinising ko lang yung ating station. No? Medyo, okay. Nilinising lang po natin. So, meron na po tayo dito. Soup. Ayan, no? Kita nyo, napaka creamy. Ganda ng kulay niya. Naghalo na yung uh, naghalo na yung kalabasa sa kayo ano. Okay. Healthy and delicious soup po natin. So kung gusto niyo mas medyo mas uh, puree pa, pwede naman. You can add some cream on top. You can add some herbs. Ito uh, na ito. Yan ang kagandahan na may, may herbs sa ano eh. May herbs sa kusina. Dampot ka lang ng dampot. Hindi na kailangan bumili. Okay. Meron tayo fresh herbs dito. Meron tayong uh, onion chives. Ang bibig ko sa kanya, ito garnish ko siya. There you have it. So meron na kayo kalabasa and malunggay soup. Cream of kalabasa and malunggay soup. Siguro lalagay natin mamaya doon sa ating ano. Okay, dito natin. So meron rin ako ditong tea press. No? You can add you can add your rosel. Okay? You can for example, din dry out na siya, marami nang harvest. You can dry dry it out with the hot water. Then i-stip niyo siya, then sa kanya to press. Nagkakaroon ng kulay reddish yung ano yun din niyo. Okay? And add some lemon or you can add some at Ito na, ang ating pinakahihintay. Yes. Ang ating musaka. <laughs> wow, Chef Roy, you made us very, very hungry. I wish you could have that food. Musaka. Yes. Ay, wow. Okay. Pakinap natin sa ano. Okay. Okay. Sabi na, ating mga viewers dyan. Ganda ng kulay niya. Okay. Maganda yung pagkakagratan niya. No? So yung, yung cheese na naggratanate or gratan or nagbrown brown yung kulay niya. So ang gagawin po natin ngayon, we will do a plating. Uh, 
for the time of quantum uh, Ayan, tinatanong ni Kuya Karim kanina kung naluto ba yung ating okra. Yan po lang. And then, we have our uh, serve lang po tayo ba? Right. Mm, rice. Natin, blue rice. Uh, yeah, very colorful yung kanya. Uh, okay. Ganda ng kulay ng blue rice niya. Blue na blue. Rainbow. Just imagine kung gaano ka kung gaano kataas ang uh, tinatawag natin ah uh, antioxidant niya yung sa ating rice. Okay, there you have it. Eggplant musaka, blue rice, tapos sa ating superfood na passion fruit and uh, rosel juice. And then another superfood na kalabasa. Uh, pet chai and malungkai soup. Okay. Siguro, titikman na natin na uh, kung may herby. Ayun na, hindi ko nangabangan. Hindi ko nangabangan. Lahat. Okay. Yes. Ay, clean up lang natin. Yung ating uh, bilid para magandang uh, kilo ng picture. And so, okay. ayan na po ang ating naturally grown and process po natin na mga food for healthy and nutritious food po natin. Okay. Yes. Ayan, titikman na po natin. Say, you heard me? Wow, with the honor. Yes. Ayan ang host. Ayan po, nakagandaan ang host talaga po. So, pamayin na lang po. Pamayin na lang. Pamayin na lang. Sa, <laughs> sa mga audience po natin from Zoom and API viewers po natin. Thank you so much po. Ayan, so, mga taste na po tayo. Ayan po nung best itong nahin. Ito? Ayan. Ayan mo yung kanya okra and talong. Yes. Actually, pwede kayong tagalin yung okra. Pwede nyo ano yan. Ayan. Ayan. <laughs> Oh, wow, nag-mind si Director. Si Ay, si Ma'am Elsa. Yeah. Shoutout po kay Ma'am Elsa. Pagtatabi na lang po namin uh, sa, sa microwave. Sa akin na po na lang po, Chef. Yes. <laughs> so, titikman na po natin. Multilicious. And napakasarap po. Ang ating multigluto ni Chef na eggplant musaka with okra pa. Ayan. With the rice. Blue rice po natin. Ang sarap. Parang ayaw ko na tumigil dito ang kumain ha. So, yeah. kung meron man po kayo mga tanong or suggestion or comments, uh, just leave the comments sa ating Facebook page, sa YouTube page na ATI Hashtag Sarambay Channel at pipilitin po natin sabutin ang mga ito. Uh, again, ang pinaka-importante lang po natin tatandaan is kailangan po lang muna reproduce our own food. Sabi lang po yan, know your food, know your farmer. Next is, kailangan marunong tayo magluto. Diba? We sabihin, alam natin yung process, alam natin yung paano serve, alam natin yung paano natin isa-serve ito sa ating pamilya. And lastly, let's help our farmer. Yes. Kasi sabi nga ganyan, uh, nag-ihikahos, Ta- sabi nga ganyan, tayo lang ang bansa na lupa ang farmer. Pero hindi na yun ngayon. Dahil yes. sa tulong ng ATI, sa Department of Agriculture at sa ating partner na UN United Nations Nation, uh, World Food Organization at ng iba't ibang uh, academic like the uh, Michigan University ipinataas po natin ang kalidad ng ating agrikultura sa so, mga ganyan average daw po ng pagsasakop ng sa 57 so it's time na may mga kabataan na tulad natin na pumasok rin sa agriculture hindi lang po ako isang chef ako rin po isang magsasaka ng sa ako po yung isang anak ng magsasama. Kaya yun po ang ating agonisinya na mapilit po natin or magkaroon po tayong katawag na proper food security. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Yan. So, yan po. Sa muli po, nagpapasalamat po kami sa chef. May katanungan pa po dyan? Wala. Yeah. So, so, okay na po. So, thank you so much, chef. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, chef. Sa so, muli po, maraming salamat at uh, muli tandaan ang uh, ating uh, pag-subaybay at pag-subscribe sa ating YouTube hashtag Sarabay Channel. Search lang po natin at uh, ipalo rin po natin ang uh, Facebook. Maraming yeah. salamat po at just mabulo sa inyo. Yeah. So, yeah, Tapos na po natin ang uh, lecture demonstration organic agriculture for healthy living to the other planet na na-discuss ko po sa inyo. Sana po lang magbahagi po ako sa inyo ng konting kaalaman at nakapag-cooking na po tayo ng different nutritious food for healthy nation. Yeah. So sa muli nagpapasalamat po kami sa host po ng itong activity na ito na Bertrand Forum on the World Today with a food safety everyone's business for the organizer thank you thank you so much for the host of this training uh, the Biko University with the United Nations Association of the Philippines with the organizer Dr. Ramona Ines Ranyes Mustamante Ranyes yes, thank you thank you so much for the balsa and sa ating viewer club and Biko Organic Associations and, and sa Department of Agriculture nagpapasalamat po thank you thank you so much and sa ating mga guests po dyan, yung ating yung president, Dr. Amelo Reyes. And for the uh, OIC, an assistance food and agriculture organization po, um, Ma'am Tamara Palis Duran. And sa lahat po ng ating guests, thank you, thank you, thank you so much po sa inyo na. Thank you so much for partnering sa EDI. Sa muli po, sabi po namin, just follow yung aming EDI, yung Biko, ATI Biko. Facebook page and sa aming ETI Bicol sa Rabay Channel, YouTube sa Rabay Channel po natin. Just like, subscribe po and share po natin. Sa muli, thank you, thank you, thank you so much po sa inyo. So, balik na po natin kay Sir, sa aming post. Yes, sir, for all of us Yes, ma'am, balas po. Thank you so much. Can you still hear me? Can Chef Roy hear me? O wala sila? No, I would just like to ask. Pwede po si Bukas. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, Roy, I would just like to ask kung anong restaurant ka uh, nagluluto or where can we find you? Hindi uh, po masyado. Hindi ba marinig? Uh, we will follow the uh, link. Uh, we would like to thank uh, that very nutritious food that uh, uh, Roy Resurrection, Chef Roy Resurrection did for us. And I'm sure all of us had learned something good about uh, about uh, how to cook healthy, nutritious food. And not that expensive, but it's really affordable for everyone. At this time, we came to the point of thanking our guests for sharing their knowledge. May I call on the chairman of today's event, Dr. Ramona Ranieses, for the awarding of the certificate. Dr. Ranieses? Yes, it's time to say thank you very much and give our token of appreciation to our guests, to everyone else who participated, the resource persons. So we have the United Nations Association of the Philippines giving this certificate of commendation to Tamara Palis Duran of the Food and Agriculture Organization here in the Philippines. In grateful recognition of the invaluable support and expertise as resource speaker during the virtual conference on World Food Day conducted this October 16 by a video conferencing. So we are giving this, this 16th day of October, 2020, and this certificate of commendation signed by Arnulfo M. Mascariñas, PhD, President of Bicol University, and Amelia Lourdes Benitez Reyes, PhD, President of the United Nations Association of the Philippines. Thank you very much, Madam, um, uh, Madam Tamara Palis Duran. Likewise, we would like to say thank you so much. And we are giving the certificate of commendation to our resource person, Hermie M. Oprecio. 
as usual, Hermi, muchas gracias. Thank you very much for, for your um, lecture demonstration. Thank you. And I'm sure our audience learned much about organic agriculture and urban gardening, and especially about the Republic Act about organic gardening and organic agriculture. Thank you so much. And now Chef Roy B. Resurrection, wonderful. We all enjoyed eating your nutritious food virtually. Virtually eating your masuka. And um, you call it, um, wait. Musaka. 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 Yes. Egg yes. Egg it's egg. a Greek. Uh, yes, Paul. It's a Greek dish. All right. With organic chicken served with blue rice. The blue tarnatea is a very good um, herbal for preparing the blue rice. And this, uh, this is very good as a memory enhancer. The blue tarnatea. And uh, I'm, I'm happy because there are now so many homes planting the blue tarnatea. And uh, they know that this is an antioxidant and they derive much nutrition and much benefits from this plant. It's easily grown. It bears flowers, blue. And you all, if you also are lucky enough, you can also get that variety which also bears white flowers. So there is also orange flowers, and there is also green flowers. And I have these four varieties of the blue tarnatea. Very well, uh, very well uh, taken care of, because we know that this gives us so much benefit. Thank you so much, Chef Roy. Maraming maraming salamat. This, um, eggplant that so many people do not like to eat much because uh, they consider it as a very common food but this time you have given it a very special dish or menu thank you together with the okra so thank you so much to our resource speakers maraming maraming salamat back to you rick thank you so much dr ranieses uh, Dr. Rania says, you promised me when I go home next year, we're going to visit Chef Roy's place. And yeah. we're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Roy, Chef Roy, Chef Roy, you have not answered the question of our program host, Rick. He was asking you, where will he find you? Which restaurant? Um, as of now, I don't have uh, any restaurant here in Naga, but uh, in the future, maybe. But currently, I'm teaching in University uh, de Santa Isabel uh, in their uh, hospitality management. I'm their culinary instructor. And I'm a regular resource speaker here in ATI. So we do have a lot of lineup uh, projects such as um, meat processing, uh, so we will have uh, like uh, a naturally naturally grown uh, native pig production as well as uh, processing the meat, and we do have a lot of incoming. Actually, next week we do. I think next week yes. we do have a program for quail, no pugo. So yung, uh, the usual, they, they thought that Pugo is only portok neneng, the make tusok-tusok. <laughs> eh, yung mga sa kanilang uh, uh, street food. But this one, uh, what we're doing here in ATI is giving, giving the farmer, giving the household uh, an opportunity to explore different uh, ways how to uh, prepare their food. Like for example, I'll give you just a quick teaser. Next week we will have uh, a pickled quailed egg. So, siguro, uh, sabi again. Yes, it's a pickled quailed egg. It's ala achara, no? Ala achara yung gagawin namin sa sa quailed egg. And also, para umabang lari lagin kayo sa aming hashtag sa Rabay Channels para mas matakam pa kayo. Papakainin ko kayo ng 
paella and chorizo quail egg. No. Uh, paella with with paella with quail and chorizo. Oh, quail egg. No, karamihan ang paella natin is ginagamit lang natin is seafood. Chorizo but this time we will we will use the quail, the quail meat as well as the quail egg. Oh. Tapos um it's a, another Korean dish for the the uh, quail egg, the braised uh, spicy Korean quail egg. So, um, hopefully when you visit here, sir, we can accommodate you here in ATI. Uh, ATI is uh, very welcome uh, to have you. Just uh, send a message to Kuya Hermi. <laughs> and then uh, we will give you the best tasting laing here in Bicol. Wow. We look forward to that, sir, uh, Chef Roy, and we look forward to seeing you. God bless you, Bork. Thank you, sir, Hermie, okay? So thank, thank you, you so very much. Thank you very much, Pat. Just my balas. At this time, we have a special message from the Department of uh, Agriculture, ATI, Mr. Tornelia. Can we play the message of uh, Mr. Tornelia Rodel? Cornelia on this day. To United Nations Association of the Philippines President, Dr. Amilu Benitez Reyes, OIC and Assistant Food and Agriculture Organization Program Representative, Tamara Palis Duran, Agricultural Training Institute RTC5 Center Director Elsa Ali Parut, Dr. Ramona Ines Ranieses, our event chair and organizer, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant Friday to all of you. Happy World Food Day to all. Celebrating this special day amid the COVID-19 pandemic makes it more meaningful, isn't it? Dealing with this global health crisis is like trudging on uncharted territories. We are fighting an invisible enemy and every day we hear news about casualties of this unfinished battle. Researchers and scientists worldwide are racing against time in the development of a vaccine as confirmed COVID-19 cases hit over 37 million with more than 1 million confirmed deaths in 235 countries, areas, and territories. Overwhelming as it is, but we at the Department of Agriculture knew that we have a very significant role to play to overcome this shared challenge. As Agriculture Secretary William Didar puts it, with this pandemic, there is tightening of global food supply and we know that when there is not enough food, disorder is probable. While improving our food adequacy level, we should aim for food security. If no action is done, the threat of hunger is as real as the threat of the virus. That is why the Department of Agriculture push for the implementation of the Ahon Lahat Pagkaing Sapat Contra sa COVID-19 or ALPAS COVID-19, otherwise known as the Plant, Plant, Plant Program, in addition to the department existing programs. This is a 31 billion word program, which includes the Rice Resiliency Project, social amelioration for farmers and farm workers, Palai Procurement Fund for the National Food Authority, Expanded Survival and Recovery Aid Project or SURE COVID-19 Program, and Revitalized Gulayan Project and Urban Agriculture, among others. These projects were greatly felt in communities in Bicol amid the strict implementation of quarantine protocols. To name a few, as of September 25, 2020, our Kadiwa sa DA, Kadiwa on Wheels, and Kadiwa Online, in partnership with the local government units, cooperatives, and research outreach stations, have served 
68,365 households. We have released 294.34 million worth of financial subsidy to rice farmers to 58,874 farmers. 104 million working capital loan to 16 farmer cooperative associations and 89.75 million to 3,599 farmers region-wide under the Expanded Survival and Recovery Assistance Program, or SURE A. We have also distributed 5,643 kilograms of vegetable seeds to encourage households and barangays to engage in home gardening and establish community gardens to ensure food productivity, availability, and sufficiency amid the pandemic. Through these efforts, we were able to secure Bicolano household supply of healthy and nutritious food to boost their immune system against COVID-19. Let me take this opportunity to thank everyone present in this virtual forum for your active, sincere, and prompt actions in support to the DA's BICOL, to the DA BICOL's food security efforts amid this pandemic. This difficult time has indeed shown us who our real allies are. People willing to come together and brave risks with us so we could stay faithful to our mandate to ensure food secure Philippines much more in time of the health emergency period. Thank you for bearing this burden with us. In these uncertain times, you can count on the Department of Agriculture in Bicol to courageously, persistently, and steadily take on our roles as agri-frontliners to empower, enable, and strengthen our food heroes, which is our farmers and farm workers who diligently toil day and night to deliver safe and nutritious food for us amid this unprecedented challenge. For borrowing the words of the World Food Program Chief, who recently received the coveted 2020 Nobel Peace Prize, until the day we have a medical vaccine, food is the best vaccine against chaos. Without it, we could see increased social unrest and protest, a rise in migration, and deepening conflict. Again, my sincerest gratitude to the United Nations Association of the Philippines for this privilege to impart this message with you this World Food Day. Patuloy po tayong magtulungan upang makamit ng ating mga magsasaka at pangingisda ang masaganang ati, ani at mataas na kita tungo sa siguradong pagkain sa buong bansa. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Mr. Rodel P. Tornilla of the Department of Agriculture. We will be guarding and we will be one with you, sir, together with the different organization who organized this event today to ensure that the social amelioration program for farmers, the revitalizing of the urban agriculture, the subsidiary for to farmers, and the survival assistance program will really reach our farmers and will benefit them for the good of our nation. Thank you, Department of Agriculture. At this point, I would like to thank our partners who made this event possible. Of course, the United Nations Association of the Philippines, the Bicol University, the Bicol Association of uh, Learning Sites in Agriculture, BALSA, the Bicol Regional Organic Farmers Council, BROFA, the Women for Agriculture and Rural Development, WARD, the Department of Agriculture, the Agriculture Training Institute, Region, Regional Office 5, ATI, the Philippine Commission on Women, the Association of Bicol University Retirees, and we would like to specially thank the Department of uh, Education, International Cooperation Office, 
Dr. March Ballesteros and Sir Ryan for live streaming this event in our in their Facebook of the DepEd. So we are really being uh, watched nationwide. So at this time, everything must come to an end. But do you have a- Rick, just before you what? end, can I just say but something? Rick, can I just, can I just say one minute? One. Yeah, I just okay. want to include something in, in, the, uh, in the message that you said to the executive director. Can you just say to please include a fund for the rural women? That's all I'm saying. Not to forget the rural women asset sector. Can you just include in his report to just include us? Can I just make that kind of plea for them? I don't think it uh, it will be contentious, ma'am, but we will add yeah. it. We just okay. celebrated rural women yesterday, and we should really add importance to the rural women, especially on our agriculture side. Thank you. Anything so else? Terrible. Yeah, the tech director to just include that in his, uh, you know, the fund that he's releasing, to just include a portion, a certain amount for the rural women, so that some or other we can be certain that all our efforts can really have a source of funding for the rural women. Thank you. Okay, ma'am, we will look into that and we will make the, the necessary. Uh, Sorry to interrupt, but behind the executive director, is very good there. Thank you. Okay. Did we answer your question, Dr. Amidu, or do we have to have uh, one of them answer it? He was mentioning about what they were doing for get a fund also for the rural women. That's all I'm saying. Okay, ma'am. We will make it. Are you still there, executive director? Thank you for your comments and reactions. Are you still there? Are you talking about Mr. Tornilia? Yes. The last yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a message of him, but maybe uh, as an organization, we can write them a letter to ensure that the rural women are funded in this very kind of activity, ma'am. That's, that's right, thank you. At least alam, alam niya ang awareness natin. But at least at the very end, he knows that we are asking him to include in his kind of undertaking the rural women, the fund for the rural women. That's all I'm saying. Is Mr. Secretary and uh, uh, Executive Director, are you still there? Director, are you still there? Thank you. Ma'am, ma a video message. Okay. Salamat. Sorry. Ensuring that the women are always heard and always have a budget. And I will second to that, ma'am, that the women, urban, uh, rural women should really have a good budget yeah. on agriculture. Okay, at this time, thank you, Dr. Uh, Amilu Benitez Reyes, for that very good suggestion that we have left out. And we will include it in our uh, what we call this uh, uh, presentation or summary of this Zoom meeting uh, once we do the two page or three page uh, event summary with Dr. Agnieszes. So at this time, we have the center director of the ATI RTC5 to give us remarks. One of the dynamic government workers that we have, Madam Elsa A. Tara. For the closing remarks, please. Mute, mute. Oh, sorry, sorry, okay. So thank you very much for that very uplifting introduction. Uh, we are in, at ATI because we are just driven by the passion of our partners. So we have to uh, we have to be like Sarabai with our partners. Before I close, before I say my closing message, Ma'am Amilu, if you're still there, uh, yes, I will personally uh, I will personally discuss your uh, your concern with Red Tornilia. We are very close partners. We are an attached agency of the Department of Agriculture in Region 5. And for also, uh, for your information, ATI uh, has been uh, has been uh, mentoring uh, the Rural Improvement Club. Uh, if you are aware of the RICs, this is the Organization of Rural Women, which has been in existence for, I think, 84 years. And it is in our cudgels as a rural-based organization for women. So we have a small fund for them. 
and uh, we will work hand in hand with other agencies in the Department of Agriculture to also uplift the, uh, the concerns of our rural women. I am a rural woman. I am a rural woman myself, so uh, it is close to my heart. So, siguro ito yung it's a blessing in this, guys, because we have prepared uh, a recorded message, but uh, some technical glitches along the way. So, uh, this is uh, one of the blessings why I think I have to go live to uh, to assure Ma'am Amelia that rural women is also one of our priorities as a rural-based organization, Ma'am. And I will, thank you for that. Because yeah. you know, there's a God budget, and the God yes, budget does not consider the rural women. So, uh, nila yan, in mm -hmm. a sense, one of the areas that we can you know, be able to touch, you know, the local government, and rural women, all of them have a 5% God budget. Yes. So, we can go hindi lang God and gender development, pero rural women. Yes. Access to credit, technology, to okay. market, etc. Some or other, all the rural women organization that you have, now will have access, direct access to that fund. That's all I'm saying. Nakakalimutan palagi. Okay po, okay po. That's well taken, ma'am. And thank you very much. I'm meeting, uh, virtually meeting you in person. So with that, uh, in behalf of the ATIB call, uh, Regional Training Center 5, we really thank very much the organizers. I have personally messaged uh, our Balsa President, Ma'am Ines, earlier of this very remarkable and commendable activity. And more, I'm more so, we are very thankful for being part of this momentous uh, activity. It is really a great on, honor and pride for ATI Bicol. And thank you for, for the resource persons, uh, Hermie and Chef Roy, you always made us proud at ATI. Talaga mga uragon kamo. And uh, for all these uh, efforts, thank you very much, UN, UN uh, Association. I was really, uh, I'm, I, I'm a bit disheartened because we prepared uh, an, a closing message with a backdrop of our ating UMA, our urban agriculture project at ATI, but some technical glitches along the way. And my staff right now in Bicol is panicking because I am in Laguna right now. So they are really uh, in panic. So sabi ko, sige na lang, magla-live na lang ako. Because I, I think there is a reason why I should go live. And this one. Thank you so much. Really uh, very remarkable ladies and uh, uh, Sister RC and our, our host for, tonight, for today. Thank you for this uh, opportunity and uh, God bless everyone. We have to stay safe and uh, we hope that this is not, this is only the beginning of a beautiful partnership between I uh, among organizations. And Mama, Mama Ines, you make us proud. Thank you very much for this. I know the Balsa family and your organic family in Bicol and we ourselves are very proud of this endeavor. And then, uh, konting sipag lang. Konting sipag lang at syaga and lahat tayo uh, would, uh, would have food to enjoy on our table. So with that, yes. po, thank you very much. Diyos mabalos sa Indogabos. Thank you. Thanks. Great. Thank, thank you. you thank you. Thank you. You are a lifesaver, especially for the rural women. Oh, thank you know, you so much. there's a reason for everything. And thank you for doing yeah. this live. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Bicol University. Uh, as we close the World Food Day, no one should be hungry. At this point, I would like to call Dr. Ramona um, for the final announcement for this afternoon and tomorrow's activity. Dr. Ranieses, would you mind uh, giving us the final uh, announcement? Salamat yeah. po. You're up. Th thank you very much. This has been a wonderful day. Ma'am Elsa, thank you very much. Imagine you're supposed to be somewhere else, but you made it a point to be with us on a live performance because we say that to everything, there is a reason. 
yes. and yes. every yes. purpose under the heavens. And so there is a particular reason why you are doing it live. There is a reason for the glitch. So there is also a reason for your staff to be frantic because of the technical glitch. Now, not knowing that it's going to turn to, to your advantage and our advantage. So thank you so much. Ma'am, you, you are also the one giving assurance to our president in the UNAP that something will really be done about the rural women through your interaction with our regional director in the Department of Agriculture. Maraming maraming salamat po, ma'am. We're able to do this because of your support and cooperation. Always, Hermi is with us, and uh, Chef Roy and uh, Agpa is always with us. Salamat po because of your kindness, support. Thank you very much. So this afternoon, my friends, we will have at 1.30 to 4 p.m. the afternoon session of this World Food Day. And this is centered on the youth of today, our youth. So we have the dance, uh, dance drama festival and the essay writing contest. But we will have for our speakers, Honorable Congresswoman, the Deputy Speaker of Congress, Loren Legarda. And also we will have the chairperson of the Philippine Commission on Women, Chairperson Sandy Montano. So please join us. We will also have the National Commission for Culture and the Arts Chairperson. And they will again make our afternoon interesting and very successful. So for our last uh, web webinar in our three, in our series of three webinars is the United Nations, Poverty Eradication Day, which will be tomorrow, Saturday. It is supposed to be scheduled at three at 1.30, but because of the massive brownout in Legaspi City, it is reset to five o'clock in the afternoon up to seven. So please join us tomorrow for our Poverty Day Eradication. And we will have none other than our chairperson of the Committee on Agriculture, Honorable Cynthia A. Villar, as our keynote speaker, and our resource persons, Professor Maria Cherito Baliadares of UP Los Baños, who will talk on foodscaping, decorative, and edible landscaping towards attaining food security at the household level. We will also listen to the talk of Honorable Penelope B. Belmonte, Under Secretary of the National Anti-Poverty Commission, or NAPSI, and she will speak on poverty eradication, everyone's concern. And the third speaker is Ms. Estrella Penunia, the Secretary General of the Asian Farmers Association for Sustainable Rural Development, and her topic is United Nations Decade of Family Planning to Eradicate Poverty. <laughs> so friends, we, we welcome you once again to our afternoon and our last day in the series of webinars. Thank you so much for all your participation, your support and cooperation, we could not have done this without you giving us a hand. Ma'am Elsa, maraming salamat. Back to you, Rick. Thank you very much. Happy World Food Day. And let us all be safe and make nobody hungry. God bless. And we'll see you in this afternoon. Thank you. We will have the closing song now. Okay. This is the school we wish to sing of a school to honor and reveal a temple built by men of 
Thank you very much, United Nations Association of the Philippines. Happy World Food Day. God bless everyone. Thank you very much, Rick. That was wonderful. Congratulations for hosting this program. Thank you, Mom. We'll see you later, okay? Yeah. I will leave the Zoom now, Mom. Bye. All right, I'll see you at 1 30 or 2 p.m. 1 30. Yes, ma'am, we will see you. All God right, bless. thank you very much. Take your rest now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got agpa, agpa. Thank you. Thank you, technical staff. Salamat, Mel, Ayan, Cha, Hermi. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma Lunch na kayo. See you at 1 30. Bye. Happy lunch. Bye.